welcome to another exciting edition of Are You Garbage? The show where you find out if your favorite comedians are classy individuals or absolute trash. Now, here are your hosts, Kevin Ryan and H. Foley. Hey, everybody out there, and welcome back to everybody's favorite new podcast. This is R.U. Garbage. Mm -hmm. It's a little show we sit down with your favorite comedians, and we find out if they grow up to be classy yeah, or if they're just a big old piece of trash. I'm your host, H. Foley, coming at you on a glorious day. Woo! We're down here at Aunt Tootie's basement. She is so excited about our guest today. She's running around the neighborhood with her shirt off. Oh, baby, getting in the spirit. I I'm like getting it. calls from the post office to get her the hell out of there. <laughs> My co-host is coming at you from right next to me, unamused this week. <laughs> he is the founder and CEO of Are You Garbage? He makes the guys in the boardroom nervous and the ladies in the bedroom go, eh, all right, whatever. <laughs> Give it up for KJ, Kevin James Ryan. Hey, gang. Thanks for tuning in. As always, please make sure you rate, view, subscribe on iTunes. Mm -hmm. Full video available on YouTube. And as you know, those mm -hmm. numbers are... True to roof. Fucking cooking. cooking, baby. Then I would be a jerk off, an asshole, a dickhead if I didn't mention the greatest website of all time www.patreon.com slash are you garbage. Lord. Check it out. Bonus content, live streams, whole different podcasts we do on there. Check it the fuck out. Woo, love that money. And having a nice quick shout out to our producer extraordinaire, the pride of the Chicago comedy scene and the new prodigal son of Astoria, Queens. Give it up for T-Bone McMuffin. Toby McMullen, everybody. What's up, dudes? T-Bone. Sunny day in New York. We've got the credence pumping in the car on the way in. We're about to have a good time, <laughs> baby. Good day. Feeling good. The long hair ain't lying, gang, because we got a little fucking star power in the building. Oh, yeah. Not the usual bums and bozos you see dragging <laughs> around the hallways here. Our guest is a legendary stand-up comedian, podcaster, and multi-million dollar enterprise. Ooh. He has numerous stand-up <laughs> specials. You can hear him every week on the Burt Cast. Two Bears, One Cave. He uh, will be performing at the world-famous Greek Theater in Los Angeles, California, May 5th. Let's cut the bullshit. He's one of the biggest, one of the baddest, one of the best there is. He is a capo de capo. We're talking about a true boss. But the big question in buddy's mind today, is he garbage? Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for the machine, Mr. Burke Kreischer. It is a pleasure to be here, gentlemen. Buddy, Look at you. Thank you it. so much. Holy shit. Thanks for coming, buddy. Did you get a hint? of If I'm Garbage by my reach out to get on the podcast. That was the nicest thing anybody's ever done. <laughs> Bert texted me the other night. Hey, it's Bert. Can I do your podcast? It's the first letter that we've received. <laughs> <laughs> In crayon. <laughs> there was it's, barbecue sauce on it, too. Listen, I, I'm a fan. I'm a fan of podcasts in general. So when you see good podcasts, I get excited. And then I'm like, hey, man, is it cool if I do your podcast? I think I'm a better guest than I am host. My, <laughs> my podcast, I talk over everyone all fucking time or like I'm not someone will I'll go uh, so tell me what, what it was like being on workaholics because when I started watching and then the guy's <laughs> like you're uh, just uh, telling uh, your story yeah 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 <laughs> yeah oh, uh, it's good stuff all right let's get into it um we know about the machine right yeah college we know about well college documented. I want you to take me back to the origin story give me the nuts and bolts I'm talking about a young kid in the hot Florida sun with a fucking Chaco Taco in his mouth watching Knight Rider. Take us back to that. Uh, so. Where in Florida? Tampa. 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 Tampa's different than everywhere else. Miami's more, more international. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Orlando's bland. Yeah, it's yeah. weird. Uh, Tampa's got some stank on it. It's a good time. We were just there. We were just there. Really? I could move there in a heartbeat. Tampa's got an, a big Cuban influ influence, but it's still the South. Mm -hmm. So it's, it is semi- I mean, I'll say in my at my generation was still semi segregated. Like it was not not segregated as in people couldn't live in different places. Yeah, yeah, they yeah. just didn't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And like there was like Hillsboroughs where all the black kids went to school, plants where all the white kids went to school, Chamberlain's were, Chamberlain was mixed, but it was like that was that was Tampa and I, I went to a private The all black school? No, <laughs> no, no. no. Uh, I went to the private school in uh downtown Tampa as a kid. And but we lived in a white trash neighborhood. We lived in a real white nice. trash, like like uh, like legit well, white that's trash. That's the thing about Florida. White trash isn't. It's always right around the corner. Oh, it's, it's, oh it's yeah. It's like there's always a pontoon boat somewhere you can get going. And I think that's why I have anxiety in life is that white trash is unpredictable. Oh, very big time. very molesty. And there could yeah. be <laughs> there's always an uncle hanging around. It's always an ice cube up someone's real asshole. handsy. <laughs> I remember watching them hold this kid down, shoving an ice cream up his ass. What? And I was like, fuck, I think I'm next. 
<laughs> but he, he's got his pants off already. What was this, Thanksgiving? What are you, you talking tell about? A story? I told him tell Jim, Jim Florentine a story. We were running a half marathon, and I was telling him a story, and halfway through, he's like, I think you were molested. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, no. And he no goes, we oh, out. Yeah, he was like, you were definitely. Like, he has a look on his face. Nah, man, like, that's just Tampa. <laughs> yeah. That's just Florida, bro. It's just different. <laughs> it's a but, Tampa handshake. But then we, then we moved to what is what was like a nicer part of of north tampa nice. it's like north tampa's north tampa's all kind of uh very rednecky at the time in the in the 70s and 80s uh-huh. and so we moved to a nicer part of north tampa which was a, not a gated community but like it had an entrance you know it sure. had like it was called faircloth estates and uh and there that was a little my, more diverse neighborhood there was like one black kid chris colvin and uh, that's pretty diverse. And like yeah. a Jewish kid, uh-huh, like, yeah, but yeah, it was yeah. like the there was, it was yeah, but, yeah. and then a Canadian family. <laughs> <laughs> the hell like, you talking about? The Canadians <laughs> just moved in down the street. A Cuban family, uh, but and then that's where I became like a started. That's the formative years of me becoming a grown like a, a boy. Mm-hmm. And I was still going to private school. Then I went to an all boys Catholic school, and that is where I that is where I became who I am today. Like I learned how to tell a story because Cuban kids were like. You sit down at a table. You can either tell a story. You can't tell a story. And if you can't tell a story at an all boys Catholic school, get the fuck out. Yeah, yeah. What are so you bringing to the table? Brought, uh, found out where I stood in sports at that school. Uh, got my first fist fight. Uh, all the shit that that like turned me into who I am today. Right, kind of happened there. And then went to Florida State. Uh, had the greatest six and a half years of my life. Mm-hmm. And then out of Florida State, and I was always I was always big fish, small pond. Everywhere I was, always big fish, small pond. And then when I went to Florida State, I uh, fucking partied my balls off. I walked, I walked onto the Florida State baseball team. The That's first pretty day. good. Well, well, hold not on. too shabby. I, I walked off the same day. <laughs> <laughs> I was asked to leave yeah, in the I, second I, inning. I walked on, <laughs> Coach Mike like Wesley Snipes in Major League. They <laughs> 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 carry you out while you're sleeping on your cot. <laughs> <laughs> wake up, wake up to the sprinklers. <laughs> but, but baseball's an interesting uh, garbage angle because the coaches. Like you're talking about the people that form who you are were the coaches. All my coaches growing up, all, my dad coached at a certain point because he realized the men that I was hanging around were fucking garbage. Yeah, like outlaws. Oh, dude, I remember. I remember when we played for the Yankees. Two coaches, they were brothers. They had four sons between them that were all on our team. So that like just <laughs> all four of their sons were on our team, meaning mm-hmm. they were within a year of age Holy difference. Shit. Yeah, and I remember one saying. Uh, Steak dinner at Sizzler says I can hit a ground ball past Kreischer. <laughs> and I was like, I'm gonna play at third base. I'm eleven. <laughs> and I'm and I'm like I'm like what's Betting steak dinners at yeah. the Sizzy. And he goes, No, no. And he's like, Kreischer, toes on the grass, toes on the grass. <laughs> For anyone who doesn't know baseball, that means your your heels are on the clay, toes are on the gla- grass of the infield, toes on the grass, hot box time, let's do it. And this guy a grown man <laughs> fucking taking full cuts <laughs> trying to hit a ball past me and I'm just like fucking get me out of here yeah dude <laughs> one uh, of them Sundays if I can hit him in the head Jesus <laughs> bet you five bucks I can knock his ass out right now with, with a curveball I mean I remember I remember there were times I, when we moved uh-huh. to this new neighborhood I watched these I told I was telling someone about this and it didn't make sense when I told it so I'll tell it slower we watched these kids catch another kid in our lake this kid was standing on an island in our lake, running away from two boys with a BB gun who caught him, put him in his boat, and then went away with him. Jesus. And it was like, that was, our, that was like rednecks. That was like real. Re- yeah. One dude had was an that alligator. the Canadian kid or the Jewish kid? <laughs> I know, there was a kid we didn't even know. I don't even know. We had one kid who ended up being a serial killer. What? Lived really? In our neighborhood. The kid used to go into the woods. We had woods, like big swamps around there, and we'd go back there, and he'd be like, but you guys, I bet you, I bet you I can put a stick up my ass. And we're like, huh? And he's like, I bet you I can get naked, climb up the tree, and put a stick in my ass. And we're like, we were just going to ride bikes. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to try to find some frogs to blow up. Yeah, and then uh, my sister called me one day. She's like, yo, he uh, killed a bunch of hookers on the causeway. Whoa. Wow. I was like, shut the fuck up. He invited me to this girl's house. His family was watching this girl's house. And uh, he was like, hey, do you want to go over to your house and cut up the panties of their underwear, though? I was like, what? what? So he you could a, see it when he was, was the a first kid. kid. He was the first kid that saw me, uh, that showed me pornography. First time I ever saw pornography, it was his dad's pornography, and I couldn't figure out what the pussy was. Because it was like, you know when a woman closes her leg but lifts her legs up, and it's just two bulbs? Sure. 
and and I was like, "What is that thing?" <laughs> I don't know, but it's moist. How did you looks get that? Good. Yeah, mine doesn't look like that. <laughs> so that's me in a nutshell. Damn, <laughs> that, was a, that was a very Florida backstory. Holy shit! Friends of the serial killer. <laughs> Saw a dude get struck by lightning at a Publix. I mean, like, Whoa. I think there was a lot of anxiety in my life. I, I I feel like I have anxiety now, and I go, hang "I wonder on, where babe. it comes from." Hang, yeah. on, hang on, you're you're hang on, you're hang breezing on. by this shit. <laughs> yeah. Saw a kid get struck by lightning at a Publix. We just moved to Lutz, right? And so on Florida Avenue, there's a Publix at Florida and Bears, and uh, we it's rain, thunderstorms in Florida are bad. Mm-hmm. Like yeah, yeah, we have yeah. bad lightning. We don't we can't have giraffes at our zoo. And so uh, what? Yeah, that's how bad our lightning is. They can't they can't have any caps in our mouth. <laughs> so. <laughs> so we uh, can't have giraffes at our zoo. That's the fucking trashiest <laughs> shit. That's not a rule. That's insane. <laughs> I mean, I just never saw one. I don't know. Maybe I they, just maybe never. Yeah, you're probably going to afford one. And maybe. I don't know. You can have all the lemurs and tigers you want. <laughs> but them giraffes ain't going to make it. That storm come. <laughs> the giraffes in the parking lot of the Publix. Uh, <laughs> Lowry Park Zoo. Lowry Park Zoo is a legit place we used to go. And so uh, so we go to this um, Publix and... Uh, <laughs> And it's raining bad. It's thunder, thunder and lightning bad. Like to the point where my dad, we pull in, and my dad's like, "All right, let's we're gonna fu- fucking run in." And as we're running in, there's a kid collecting shopping carts oh. out in the thing. And my dad's like, "Buddy, yeah. that's called natural <laughs> selection." <laughs> Jesus. Wait till the storm passes, me, little yeah. guy. Yeah. And then as soon as we walked in, <clears throat> crack exactly. and, and crack. I mean, you know, only people. I, I want to say only people in the South know it, but because lightning's so bad in the South. And I'm, I have a real fear of lightning. But when you lightning hits in your backyard, it feels like it hit you. Yeah. You, you if feel there, is a, there is a charge. I have, a, sure. I have a, an arguably true or not true story that they, <laughs> that, uh, that I might have gotten struck by lightning one time. <laughs> it's, it's on the fence. You don't know whether you got molested, struck by lightning? I think I you got struck by lightning. You don't know what's going this on. This guy's bonkos. I think I got struck by lightning one time. I was jogging in Clearwater. Why I was being molested? I, it, was a light, it was soft lightning, so it was a, not a really aggressive lightning. I don't think that's a thing. Aggressive. Soft lightning. It was just a little static electricity, and it was between me and a guy, and it struck in between us, and it kind of no one got knocked down, but lightning struck in between us, and me and the, I was running, and I was running back. In Florida, you'll go for a jog, and then as you turn around, you realize a storm's been behind you this yeah, whole time. You're and now you got to run through the storm. And I'm running back. I'm on uh, Clearwater Beach over by El Dorado. We used to have a beach house there. And I was as I'm running, there's another guy. And lightning strikes in between us, scares the fuck out of us. And, I, man, I, my heart was racing. Mm-hmm. And I went in, and my, my dad thinks all my stories are full of shit. I'm like, I got struck by lightning. And he was like, we were here. I don't believe this. And I go, no, I almost got struck by lightning. He's like, I don't believe that. I know and, a guy. And my, my daughters are like, <laughs> sure. Everything I say, I got bit by a bat in Costa Rica. My daughters are like, bullshit. I Did you? The, yeah, I, yeah, I got bit by a fucking bat in Costa Rica. <laughs> I'm siding with your daughters on this one. <laughs> yeah, I got bit by a fucking bat in Costa Rica. I think this lends into my anxiety is like a little bit of a thing goes a long way for me. So I had this. I, Emotionally, you live it. Emotionally, you were yeah. bit by a bat, whether you were bit by a bat or not. Well, here's the deal. Is I, I the get, bat I, was rude to you. I have, a bat, <laughs> I have a bat bite on my leg, right? We're eating dinner, and I go, what the fuck is this? And the lady comes up, and she goes, oh, you were bit by a bat. We had been white water rafting and walked by a bush. Sick bats hang out in bushes in Costa Rica. I would have freaked the fuck out. And I go, I got bit by a bat? No, I think it's funny. I text Doug Stanhope. Doug Stanhope's like, uh, I think if you just keep drinking, it goes away. That's why I laugh, right? <laughs> my kind of doctor. <laughs> I laugh. about right. And then that night, my cameraman, this guy Kendall, goes, uh, I'd be freaking out if I were you. I'd be freaking out. And I was like, why? And he goes, you got to get rabies shots now. Yeah. I'd be on the, the first bat, flight to dude. Cedar sinai And I did, never got rabies shots. What? Yeah. I ended up, oh, I didn't know that if you don't so get them. So you're currently rabbit. If you don't get them. It starts foaming out the mouth and shit. If you ah. don't get them that first four days, you can't get them. So, like, I go back. I'm going to Africa the next week. I'm getting inoculated. She goes, do you need a rabies shot? And I was like, oh, no, no. I, I was bit already. by a bat in Costa Rica. <laughs> and then she goes, did you get rabies shots? And I said, no. And she goes, well. That's a game changer. So you'll <laughs> never get it. I, I, well, you have I, I a natural immunity. I, no, I know. I would have gotten rabies by now. But then, or so, he's a fucking vampire. Or my wife goes, "You didn't get bit by a bat." <laughs> yeah. Or that's, 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 let's my go wife back goes, to the yeah. source material. Yeah. So yeah, my source material is always. <laughs> I feel it, so it is. Exactly. That's poison ivy, Bert. Relax. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you can you can Bad Google case of sumac. Type uh, Google Bert Kreischer bat bite, and you'll see it. It's a fucking bat bite on my Serious? leg. Serious. Yeah. It's a legit bat bite. And then there, the the I would have freaked out, d- dude. My biggest fear is getting sick out of the country. That's I got, my biggest fear. The next day, I after this bat bite, I, the next day I wake up sweating. I, I have a rough night, right? I get on a horse on a beach in Costa Rica, and the guy says, hey, man, is something going on with you? And I was like, oh, I got bit by a bat. And he was like, 
well, my horse, the horse can tell. I'm like, what the dude, fuck? That's not good. He's like, horses can read energy really easy. Even just holding the reins, they can read your energy. And I was like, that's bullshit. I get bucked off the fucking horse on the beach. What? The beat, the horse, I get on the horse and we start to go and he takes off. And I'm like, what the fuck? And he's trying to buck me off the whole time. Guy comes over, grabs the horse, calms it down. I'm half on the horse, half off. I got out and I was like, fuck this. I started drinking pretty aggressively, yeah. and I phoned it in the rest of that episode for Costa Rica. <laughs> You're a vampire. Dude, yeah. I'm telling you. So, yeah, might have gotten struck by lightning, probably got bit by a bat. Also won the Florida State Regatta. <laughs> <laughs> and the Super Bowl twice. Yeah. Yeah. MVP once. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what happened to the kid at Publix, robbed. man? Yeah. Did he that fucking live or not? So he gets struck by lightning, He's right? A Did he now. finish the shift? What's the deal? Everyone goes out, and the kid's laying there smoldering. Uh, Jesus. Uh, carts, carts. Smoldering. Shh, carts. Shh, they, they scatter like cockroaches. Uh-huh. They're shh. And uh, we're sitting there. Uh, there was a PE coach. Like, I, I just think he had, like, coaching pants on. But he was, like, a coach-looking guy. <laughs> Dude, a, what's wrong with you, man? And, he, and he's, like, he's, like. He uh, was a coach-looking guy. He's, like, yeah, remember those coaching pants? I know. I know Fuck exactly yeah. what they you mean. They were bike. Yeah, they yeah. Yeah. were bike. Yeah. Tight like, as shit. Good-looking guy, handlebar mustache. <laughs> Had to be to pull those off. And he's, like, uh, someone, should we go get him? And everyone's like, I leave him out there. I think he threw up on himself. <laughs> let the rain. Like he shit himself from here. <laughs> his, 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 let his, his jewelry melted into his body. Let him cool down a little bit. I got ice cream in the cart, buddy. I ain't helping anybody. I got to get this home to the freezer. I got Sherbert in here, big fella. <laughs> He's in the Lord's hands yeah, now. Holy shit. The rain will take him. You kidding me with all this goddamn lunch meat I just bought? This is Boar's head, too, motherfucker. <laughs> buffalo, blazing oh. buffalo. Someone, someone was like, someone's like, don't go out there. There's lightning. And, I, and I, I remember thinking now as an adult going, that's the safest place to be. It's not going to hit there twice. Yeah. Like, oh, yeah. It's not a shark. It's not a fucking shark waiting for us in the fucking. Yeah. It's not like one of those snipers that like wounds people so that you come out to help them and then get Dude, you. Do you remember the DC sniper? Yeah. I remember being terrified of that. How fucking horrible. You just filling up your car with gas and, and your whacked. head explodes. Yeah, I know. <sighs> anyway, so <laughs> after a minute, the kid gets up, looks around. He's like, shut uh, up. And, uh, yeah. And we're like, over here. And he's like, you guys? And we're like, yeah, come you inside. You fucking see that shit? <laughs> he, Holy fuck. Straight to the bar for him. Yeah. He comes in and he's like, what happened? And we're and I'm like, oh, you're allergic to dairy. <laughs> it makes you, you melt. Did you have gluten today? <laughs> and then we, we had to sit there while the ambulance came. We had to, someone called the ambulance and we sat there. And uh, was he smoking the whole time? No, I you know I don't really remember much. I remember my dad getting me away from it because like <laughs> yeah, he was dude. like. But I, re- I do remember asking him if he had superhuman powers. <laughs> like I was like, do you have any can you food? read my mind right now? <laughs> Bend this spoon. Bend this spoon. <laughs> my dad's like, like he's powder. My dad's like that's not how you want to go out, buddy. You do not want to get struck by lightning. Oh. I will tell you that you don't want to get struck by lightning, killed by a dog. Like my dad, my dad would parent by my because he was a lawyer, so he'd show you pictures of shit that happened to kids, crime scene, and then Jesus. be like. Stay away from dogs. Take a look at this kid. Got mauled by a fucking dog. And you'd be like, okay. Yeah. So that's uh, my childhood. Florida, holy baby. Holy fuck, dude. <sighs> Flo- Tampa does have great. F- it's just got, f- especially if you booze, it's got fun vibes. Strip clubs. I was there within 20 minutes. I'm like, I could. We talked about, I talked about moving this whole operation down to Tampa. I would. I would. Just for the fucking fun of it. I would. Well, the problem with Tampa is alligators, number one. Lots of alligators. Lots of lightning. Lots of rednecks. Guns. And everything you just told us yeah. for the last 10 minutes. <laughs> Guns pulled on you a lot. Really? Like, a lot. I mean... Everybody's uh, packing down there. Everyone's got a gun. Everyone has a firearm. And everyone is willing to pull it out in a traffic stop and show you that they have a gun. I distinctly remember having a gun pulled on us. Uh, I won't say everyone's name, but I want to so bad. But Get some of them are successful now. And we were in... It was two... Two sets of cousins, three, three cousins and me. There were three cousins. And we used to do scavenger hunts on uh, the day before this big mass. On Friday, we had a big mass. We'd all go to scavenger hunt and then strip clubs. And so the scavenger hunt, we stole a, a bird bath or a, a lawn jockey out of someone's yard. And the guy Did came you say up. a mass? 
Yeah, big mass on because it's almost like a church. Like yeah, church. Yeah. yeah. So you, you do a scavenger hunt where you steal property from individuals, then go to the strip club, then go to church, and then church Friday morning. Everyone stay up, and then that's you, right. I heard that correct. Yeah. Because right? yeah. yeah. you had to do confession, so you confess. So you get it all out. Oh yeah. yeah. I don't hate it. Clean as a whistle, yeah. baby. Yeah, yeah. Ready for Monday morning. Yeah. It's like the purge. <laughs> ah, hey, I'm in. And then after that mass, we go and streak the girls' school. Jeez. Isn't that crazy? Yeah. I remember we streaked oh. the girls' school and. We we didn't know the setup of the girls' school. This is, I mean, this is like hardcore cancel shit now. We didn't know the setup, so we get totally naked. We're in a van. It's like fucking twenty of us stuck in and traffic, we, and we're we're outside <laughs> That's a the hang. We're outside the girls' school, and uh, and we're like, all right, go, and we all take off inside of Academy Holy Names is the name of the school, and we hit the first floor first, which is first grade and kindergarten, Jeez. and <laughs> we are like, fuck, go, go up. And so, so the, uh, the girls our age were on like was on like the third floor. So we had to go up three. You're all out of breath when you get up there. <laughs> winded, winded, <sighs> <sighs> naked, winded. I mean, it was like fucking. You girls, see anything you like? <laughs> <laughs> hey, Tammy. <laughs> you go to the scavenger hunt next week. <laughs> but on that scavenger hunt, guy comes out. He was in a CRX. The CRX, there's a, the little one with the shoe I know it well. Yeah, CRX, blue, blue CRX. He comes out, pulls up next to us. We are on, uh, God, fucking, we should, Bay, Bay to Bay. We're on Bay to Bay, and we're getting going to take a left to get on the Bay Shore. We go to take a left. He pulls up next, and he pulls out a gun, and he's, this is <laughs> car. And, or, or what, I just edited his name out. This <laughs> car, and this is our, his car, and he's pulled up. And he puts the gun in the window, and I'm sitting shotgun, and I just go, it's a gun, like, right here. And I'm like, motherfucker! Completely naked. No, 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 we, we've closed. This is a scavenger hunt. This is a scavenger okay. hunt. And so then, this guy, we fought this guy down Bayshore. I mean, I, the last I saw this guy, he was holding on to the side of our car, and we Jesus. were and, and punching at us, and we pushed him off the car, and he rolled off on Bayshore. And we kept, and then that night, we quit the scavenger hunt. We were terrified, and we parked in a parking lot and just in trauma, just waiting for someone to pull a gun on us. But uh, Jesus yeah, that Christ. Was, Florida was Florida was kind of fucking. It's the, yeah, the I wild remember, west of the south. I remember one Jesus. time. I remember one time driving to my buddy Cayman's house, and I, I had a fox, and this uh, Mustang pulled up. We were on uh, two seventy five, and I was going fast, you know, like maybe eighty, and this Mustang flies up next to me and gets in front of me going faster, and so I pull out to get to to pass him. I'm in a fox, and he just punches it and gets in front of me again. It had been raining. And he hits a puddle, and he hydroplanes, spins on the interstate, going probably 90 miles an hour, spins, hits the side, goes off the fucking interstate into a tree, and because he was in front of me, he emptied the puddle, and I went through it, and I didn't hydroplane, and I went, mother fucker. Damn. And I, I, I do have anxiety, and I wonder, now that I'm telling you all these stories, I wonder if that's where it comes from, all this shit that happened to me. Yeah, I mean, yeah. it's been 14 minutes, and I can see where your anxiety comes from. You watch a guy die in a public fucking parking lot. He's lived, he lived, I'm sure. <laughs> There's what no about, way that guy's alive What today. about yeah. the guy in the Mustang? Yeah, I, I, know, I, knew, I know two other dudes got struck by lightning also. Kip, Adam, and Eve, baby. AdamandEve.com. I've been a fan for a long, long time. T-Bone, cut the lights and light me a burning. That's what I'm talking about. Gang, what's going on in the boudoir, huh? Need something to spice it up a little bit? Everybody's looking for a little bit of better sexy yeah. guys. It's fun now. It's great. It's all out there. Out let's in the do open. It. We're sex positive. Let's have fun. Talk to your partner. Gang, get over there to Adam and Eve and get yourself some goodies, as Ye they say. Yes, Adam and Eve is offering 50% off just about any item. What? These guys are boncos. Adam and Eve are both boncos. Yikes. Giving away the store. Yikes. Toys on Christmas. Uh, Coming out of the woodwork. Yeah, just go to adamandeve.com and select any one item. It could be adventurous, new toy, or anything you desire. They got it from A to Z. You know Try what I mean? some new stuff. Spice it up a little bit. Live a little. Hit me, me up. <laughs> uh, just enter code GARBAGE at checkout. You'll get 50% off almost any item. Uh, when you do, you'll also get free shipping on your entire order nice. when you offer when you enter offer code garbage. That's garbage, G-A-R-B-A-G-E at adamandeve.com. This is an exclusive offer for specific to this podcast, so be sure to use the code garbage at checkout and not just get the discount, but also 100% free shipping. Code garbage, adamandeve.com. 
Do it. Do it. Kip, let's talk about Athletic Greens. AG, what? Do you work out? No, what you don't. What are you talking about? Hit me Ooh. out. Oh, somebody's been on the AG1. Oh, yeah. There. Heavy bike. Gang, you got to get on the Athletic Greens. I could tell you personally What's why that? I started taking Athletic Greens. Yeah. One, they sent me some for free. Uh-huh. Started working out. Yeah. Tried it. New journey you're on. Tried it. Uh-huh. Loved it. Yeah. Loved it so much that when my supply was gone, I hit them up, used the promo code, got a fresh batch. I got a cool bottle. We get to wet our beaks on the back end, too. Throw the powder in there. Throw nice cold water in there. I shake it up. I have a sip or two. I go to the gym on an empty stomach. It powers me through my workout. My stomach literally feels better after I drink it. It's an all-in-one Stop. Yeah, 75 high-quality vitamins, minerals, whole foods. 75? Food, whole foods, source, superfoods, probiotics, the whole nine yards. Uh, it's lifestyle-friendly. Uh, so if you keto, uh, keto, paleo, vegan, dairy-free, gluten-free, got contains less than one gram of sugar, no GMOs, no nasty chemicals, no artificial flavor, and it still tastes good. The good stuff. Tastes I mean, delicious. what are we doing? Right now it's time to reclaim your health and arm your immune system with convenient daily nutrition uh, it's just one scoop and a cup of water every day. That's it. No need for a million different pills, supplements to look after your health. To make it easy, Athletic Greens is going to give you a free one-year supply of immune-supporting vitamin D, which I use every day, there you go. and five free travel packs with your first purchase. There you go. All you have to do is visit athleticgreens.com slash garbage. Again, that's athleticgreens.com slash garbage. Take ownership over your health and pick up the ultimate daily nutritional insurance. Now, back to that show. Yeah, Lightning was a fucking son of a bitch. Like there, people got struck by lightning it's like a lot. These Tampa. things up here, Hell Jesus yeah. Christ! Can I tell you the funniest thing? I've the hardest I've ever laughed with my daughter Georgia. My, my daughter Isla is terrified of bees. Right, terrified. Since she was a little kid, kid, she got stung by a bee once, and she's been terrified. She couldn't play the outfield in softball for a certain period of time because she just kept looking at the floor for bees. Right, <laughs> they were all the, they were everywhere too. So oh, one day, man. one day we go on a hike <laughs> in Fryman Canyon. Isla's maybe eleven years old, and she, and as we go to turn this corner. We see people coming down going, goo, goo. And we're like, the fuck are they doing? And we start making fun of them. I was like, goo, goo. <laughs> and then Isla turns the corner and she goes, what's this shadow from? It's a swarm of 2,000 fuck bees. that. And Isla walks into it. George and I are behind her. We see her walk into bees. And she moved. The only way I can describe it is this is if she got all new body parts and she was trying them for the first time. <laughs> like Captain Caveman. And, and, jo and Georgia and I, and Ida goes, bees! And Georgia and I fell on the ground laughing because it was her biggest fear. Jeez. And we saw her witness it. And then the whole walk down, she's like, I told you bees are real. They're dangerous. <laughs> like, and we were like, that never She happened. wasn't stung though, right? No, she didn't get stung. Because here's the weird thing. That same thing happened to me at lacrosse practice one time. We were standing there. It was the spring. Me and my boy are standing there. We're goofing around. We're doing a little scrimmage. All of a sudden, night or day turned to night, and we were fucking surrounded by, again, like 2,000 fucking bees. Not one of them touched us because when they're looking for a new home, they don't fuck with anybody when the uh, queen's out. Really? Yeah, because they settled on the baseball field. A couple of gentlemen. A couple of fields down. Really? Yeah, we all came out like dirt bags, the whole school to look at it while they fucking torched them. Holy shit. Yeah. yeah that's they so don't hard. fuck with you. But that, that's your, she must have been freaked out. Oh, it was my child, and I was, could not stop laughing at her. <laughs> I could not stop laughing at her. Oh, my God. Oh, God. What was the house situation growing up? Single family home? Nope. Mom and dad, uh, two sisters. <laughs> one sister, one sister is 10 years younger than me. But this, a single family home is the house. It wasn't like an apartment or a condo. A single oh, family oh, home. Oh, 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 oh. oh my god! <laughs> you own multiple properties now, I presume, yeah, yeah. and you don't know single family. Yeah, single family. A single home. family. Yeah, home. yeah, single family. You home. thought single parent. I thought you said single parent. And I was like, no. Were you just fucking with us? <laughs> no, I just. <laughs> <laughs> now nah, we had plenty of cousins around. <laughs> Couple of uncles hanging. No uh, single family home. <laughs> yeah, definitely. <laughs> It was a single family home. <laughs> Watching you think is one of my favorite things in the world. You can see it happening. <laughs> I'm going to have to take my fucking jacket off. <laughs> I'm sweating now. I'm laughing so hard. <sighs> <sighs> I can't believe the sincerity that you answered that question. He nope. ran through the family tree, too. Nope. Two sisters, a dad, a mom. We were all good. Did you think I think it was, thought it was five. just you raising it yourself? <laughs> it was five of us, actually. Yeah, it was a five-family home. <laughs> Ah. <laughs> 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 <sighs>
<laughs> so Publix was the grocery <laughs> store. <laughs> We get that a lot because we're up here, so supermarkets are a big thing. Publix. How does Publix rank in, like, where do you shop now, by the way? Well, it's not Winn-Dixie. Winn-Dixie's Winn-Dixie. good or bad? Bad. Bad. Winn-Dixie's the, the trashier Winn-Dixie version. was trashier. Family Mart was trashier. Oh, that sounds. Did Family you, Mart Did sound you have a food bad. line down there by you? I don't think so. Because when we were kids, there was a big, do you remember the big scandal with Food Lion? No. They were, like, fucking taking meat from three years ago and rewrapping it. And dishing it to people. No, no. 60 I, Minutes didn't. fucking got a hold of them and didn't let go. We didn't have that. We didn't have Walmart. We didn't have Target. Mm-hmm. We have Publix. And we had Kmart, I think. But Kmart's Publix, were all right Publix now, Publix now is our, our high end. They're they, like, they've shifted. If you talk to any Florida kid, if you say Publix sub, they're like, that's our Wawa. But, really? But, 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 but the Publix subs are massive. They're fucking amazing. They don't skimp. And now you go to a Publix and it's got sushi. They'll have a wine bar. They're high end. Okay. Hmm. Now you go. I'm sure. Where do you go the now? This goes to like a, a Beyond Whole Foods, right? What in, in L.A.? Yeah. yeah. Oh, we what, go to we, that one that begins with a G- knee? Gelson's. Oh, Gelson's. Gelson's is uh was where we did most of our food shopping, and now honestly we moved to a place where maybe I go to Ralph's. Okay. All right. Yeah. Ralph's is good. respectable. It's good. That's good. Yeah. Hmm. I like it. Do your parents? Did they still live in the house that you grew up in? No. no. Can you tell us the name of the street that it was? Cobra Court. Courts are all right. Ooh. That's pretty Embassy good. Embassy Lane was the first place. Ooh. Embassy Lane. Ooh. Cobra Court was the next place. Embassy Lane. Shit, we got a Kennedy in the building That's pretty over good. here. No, Embassy Lane wasn't as nice as you'd think. We lived next, <laughs> <to a, laughs> next to a cop, a Chinese immigrant family. Uh, across the street was a, ch- a bunch of Chinese people lived in that neighborhood, mm-hmm. oddly. I think one family moved in and then moved everyone in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then a cop lived next, a sheriff lived next door to us. And then I watched a dude finger a girl like two houses down. We lit a kid on fire three houses down. Jesus Christ. That's more Embassy Road kind of <laughs> <Yeah>. activity. <laughs> Venezuelan family around the corner. Yeah, it was, a, it was a pretty, it was, yeah. What kind of vacations would you guys do as a kid? Where would you guys go? Not really anywhere. Really? Yeah, because my dad is not that kind of guy. And also, Tampa, you're like at the beach already. You know yeah. what I mean? You got Orlando. water and stuff. We went to Orlando. These are the vacations I remember. You've been to Disney World, I assume. No. I mean, I have now. I have now. Right. But as a kid, I think we went. But we went to Orlando, and me and my sister were so amazed at the hotel. You didn't want to leave. That we didn't want to leave. They had a grotto. Mm-hmm. They had an uh, arcade. They had a pool. They had everything in this hotel. They do it right down there. Yeah. We so were we, literally just there. Yeah. We didn't want to stay. And then we went to Key West one time. We never left that hotel either. <laughs> yeah. We never. My dad is not. and He's not like a. He this want to was do stuff. my bad. My dad. The big thing about my dad. I remember I had to f- deal with this like later in life, and it's ironic that I'm saying this. My dad was not a hey, would you take a picture of us kind of guy. Mm-hmm. So we have no family pictures of like. I don't think any of, dads in the 70s or 80s were. Yeah, but now nowadays with like how much I'm on social media sure. taking pictures of my family and mm-hmm. and showing all my life, it's ironic. So I remember the. I remember uh, I went to I went to uh, the Grand Canyon with B- Bobby Kelly. Uh, oh, Bobby, Matt Frost, he's an agent over at CAA, and Vincent Nastry, who's a manager. And I, I was really, I wanted a picture of myself in front of the Grand Canyon, not with everyone else by myself. And I went, and it was my, I was shaking. I had a disposable camera, and I walked up to people, and I was like, "Can you take a picture mm-hmm. of me?" And I remember, I why didn't you ask one of them? Why didn't you ask Bobby? To I, do I, it? I was too embarrassed. Yeah, Bobby, what oh, the fuck, Bert? You want no. a fucking picture, Bert? Oh, you want a fucking picture? You want a fucking? The, the hardest I've ever laughed was a. Uh, Bobby, we were like, because Bobby and Matt and Vincent came around, came over to us, and I was, and I just got a picture of myself. I was in a Jason Williams jersey, and my Oof, hair was dyed, God was, damn. was dyed blonde. No shirt under, just the going jersey. real just classy. Jersey, I see. just the jersey yeah. with Madras shorts. You can find this picture online. God damn, and uh, Jason a, a Jason Williams jersey at the Grand Canyon. I got this picture. That's fucking. And I remember that is a tough hang. We asked this lady to take a picture of us, and she just grabbed like, if this is the Grand Canyon. We were here and we're like, hey, can you take a picture of us? She goes, yeah, sure. And she took a picture of us without the Grand Canyon in the back. <laughs> and Bobby goes, how about we put the fucking Grand Canyon in the back? She goes, oh, yeah, okay. And then we turned around. Four assholes standing by a bench. <laughs> yeah. I bet I, bet I got a that. a station wagon. I bet I got that picture. Oh, oh my God. Uh, what was your first job? Uh, working, for, uh, working for my dad at his office. Okay. Standard. First car? Uh, a Fox. Okay. 
Have yes. a tree fort in the backyard? It's funny how you remember is. This is the picture. I'm not wearing a Jason Williams jersey. <laughs> <laughs> so funny. But I, I was just God, struck by lightning. I swear to God, if you asked me, I was wearing a Jason Williams jersey in this picture, <laughs> and I'm definitely not. Yeah, that's a good one, right? Oh. <laughs> he was unclothed. Okay. Uh, fox, a fox. It was not the car I wanted. I wanted to get a, a Mustang. I thought those were badass. I wanted one, too. It was my but, first yeah, car. But my dad... Uh, what is a Fox? I'm pretending like I know. I don't know. What is a it's, Fox? It's a step below the Jetta. It was back oh, in the day. So okay. it was like, oh, right. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. A Jetta had, a, a, Jetta had a, 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 a tail that went up, mm-hmm. kind of, and a Fox had a tail that went down. Close to a Scirocco? Oh, no. Scirocco's were $16,000. A fox that was, was a hot chick car in my house. Kelly like, Blue Book over here. Yeah, yeah. No, I, no, I, dude, this was a really big deal for me. It's yours. Yeah, first car, I wanted a Scirocco, $16,000, $18,000. A Jetta was like fourteen, fifteen thousand dollars $15,000, and a Fox was like nine, ten thousand dollars mm-hmm. $10,000. And my dad's like, I can get you the Fox, and, but he got me one in the showroom. So it was like a really nice, it was a really nice car. I love sure. that car. Stick? Stick shift, yeah. Nice. Yeah. It's good stuff. Huh. What's a tree fort situation at the house when you were a kid? Uh, any swing sets? No, we had we had a, I had a tree next door that we could climb that I would I would climb a lot that was like a fallen down oak and so the inside was hollowed out that's so it kind of looked like a pirate ship yeah, in the middle. Yeah, a good time. <laughs> but I was for the most of the time I was in a boat. Yeah, I'll, I was in a, I was in a bass a, a John boat in the backyard. I went down for New Year's to Tampa. I was in a fucking pontoon boat at noon in St. Pete's Beach and like. I was in with a six with a six pack. I was in heaven. Yeah, there's nothing better than that. I have a buddy whose favorite memory growing up was he had a he had a nighttime job, and we'd get off. He'd get in his pontoon boat, and he'd listen to "Hold On Loosely" at six in the morning, doing circles around a small lake, drinking beer, yelling "Have fun stepping in my jizz, suckers!" Love that. This guy yeah. parties for God. sure. Yeah, <laughs> Tampa, Florida. Jesus Christ. <laughs> hmm. Ever been to an air show? Of course. You ever seen a crash at an air show? No. <laughs> you'd think I would have, though, the way I live my life. <laughs> the way I tell stories, you'd think I'd almost I think I'd you'd be telling a story about what you were in. Yeah. No. Yeah, so there I am in an F-16. I'm coming in low. Over, <laughs> over 278 guy in a Mustang in front of me. I was a stunt pilot for a day, though. <laughs> oh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> uh, of course. Well, it's also like, you ever done this? And he's done, t- yeah. he's had multiple TV yeah. well, shows where yeah, I was yeah. like, hey, let me do the craziest shit for a decade. Yeah, that was a stunt pilot for a day. And I did hammerhead rolls to the ground. I did stalls. I did flips. Uh-huh. I did everything. It was fucking crazy. Somebody was in there with you. Oh, someone in there. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> I was like, how do I land? All right, let thing? it rip. <laughs> no, someone was in there. And he was just, it was like very technical. It wasn't as scary as you think. Was it one of those two-seater Johns? Like where- Two-seaters. I think he was behind me. Those. Oh, I would freak out, man. No. He was like, all right, right pedal, left pedal, uh, oh, no. turn I'm to the right. Out. And then all you just go, you just listen to him. And you, if you just listened, you were fine. And then he'd be like, all right, all right, pull back, left pedal. And then you just do it and you pull out. And it was, it was terrifying, but. And you're not, notoriously not a good flyer. I'm not a good flyer. I do not fly well. And so that was, uh, that was, it was pretty intense. And you moved around a lot in the air. But uh, yeah. Holy you shit. Did, we're doing first class now, right? I would assume. Uh, yeah, yeah. Always. Yeah. I, 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 this is where I'm at flying. Not to brag, but this is nah, where I'm at what flying. What are you talking about? You've I'm no it? longer airline loyal. Nice. That's when you know. It's pretty good. Because once, because that's the thing. American really fucked up. Because I was American, ride or die, um, ride or die, no matter what. And I was buying first class, but I was only buying on American. And then I got to a place where I was like, oh, I will never. I'm not. I, I can't. I can't fly coach. I just can't. I'm too big. I like drinking. I want to sleep. And uh, You're my and I was like I was like and I and now I realized it doesn't be, it doesn't I'm never going to use the miles I'm never using miles mm-hmm. for anything because sure. anything I do is always work if I'm take, taking the girls to Europe I'm doing a show in Greece and that's going to be a work trip I'm buying the ticket anyway and so then uh, I would love to know how many miles you have oh it's probably a stupid amount uh, I pro- yeah very stupid I, I I was I was dragging in I was averaging dragging well, in. That's a real fucking, the, that's real cowboy shit. I, actually, I was dragging in about 250,000 miles a year. So, so executive platinum's 100,000 miles a year, and I would hit that in three months. Jeez. And, but, but you got to remember, I was working for Travel Channel, or mostly working for Travel Channel, so I was flying back and forth from Europe, back and forth from Africa. Sure, all like, over. So I was flying a lot. I'm, I, that, at my height of flying, 
I was a thing called concierge key, which you're not supposed to talk about, but I don't give a fuck. I heard about this. And it's uh, We just got kicked out of the Delta Lounge yeah, in Atlanta. We, just, we both individually <laughs> got fucking got booted from the Amex Lounge. Really? Because our limits weren't high enough. Not even a fuck peanut. You, Amex. Not I even a peanut or a pretzel nugget. Oh, dude, can I tell you what I do now? We're just getting money for the first time in our lives, and we're finding out quickly that we don't really have any money. I do a thing. <laughs> I, I do a thing called private suite. Oh. This guy's got it all. Private suite. You, so it's a separate entrance to the airport. So the airport. This is what I've what? heard. I've heard air, you talk yeah, about this. Yeah. Airports. He's got his own fucking job. Holy airports shit. here, right? And then the air, all the air, all the businesses here check in and all that is on the left. Can't sure. Private rocks. suite is its own little entity off to the uh, the other side of the airport. So you pull in, valet. Like you're, it's 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 it looks like you're pulling into a, uh, like to a very private restaurant. Uh, they they greet you at the car. They take you to a room. The room is filled with what you you tell them what you want. They know me, so they always have Tito's. They always have wine. They have snacks, candies. They bring in. They have a menu you can order from. They bring always bring in caviar and champagne to greet you. Caviar. You I, get I'm, there. And, I'm so sorry. We've had so many people on the show. You're the first person who has an airport rider. Yeah. That is oh, yeah. fucking cool. sick. Is it connected yeah. to an airline? Uh, no. So so you go it's to the airport. Yeah, it's 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 so you go to like you said, he's not these bums that we I mean, normally have. Peter, how fucking insane is it? It's fucking insane. It's the coolest thing you ever do. If you want to smoke cigars or or whatever, they have an outdoor one that's attached to an outdoor. You... Sings at the airport. What are we doing, gang? Quick announcement on the middle class famous tour. We are going to be coming to a city Ooh, near you hey. for a live stand up show and playing AYG with the audience. We're going to be in San Francisco, California, Los Angeles, California. La Jolla, California. And we'll also be in Pittsburgh, Buffalo, Detroit, Denver, Phoenix, Salt Lake City, Chicago, then over there to Roseman. And that's just to May. We're going to be adding some dates. It's going to be a fantastic time. Grab the squad. Come out and see us. Get your tickets. It's a good time. I brought my kids. My daughter was turned uh, 15, and she had her birthday, and we were, I was doing Atlantic City, so I brought the girls to Atlantic City. They each brought two friends. What a flex. And I, I brought all of them into the private suite, and yes. they had a birthday cake for Isla there, and all her friends were like, what the fuck is this? Then you so get cool. They, they, That's they, they, how'd, that, how'd that make you feel? Oh, uh, like a gangster. Anytime, yes. Any, uh, I don't have no problem spending money to get, avoid anxiety or to treat my kids. I have a hard time spending money on myself, like cars and stuff like that. I'm not that kind of guy, but like- I remember one time we pulled up and the the line for the line to get to the airport was I'm talking it looked like like someone lit up a Christmas tree house like like that the, it's just a string of lines right mm-hmm. it was Bunch all of the way animals out of and we pulled around and we missed all of it we pulled to the other totally other side of the airport you go in you sit down you have a few drinks you get there an hour and a half you can get there five minutes before your flight and then just they'll grab they'll you escort you they take your ID they check you in they check all your luggage. Then they grab you. They take you through their TSA. So it's, it, there's no line. It's not a line at all. You walk in. They put you in a, a 7 Series BMW or an Escalade, and they drive you on the tarmac over next to the plane, and then you enter the stairs. You know when you, you check your bags, and then, they, and then when you land, they bring them up that flight of stairs. Yeah. To yeah, yeah, yeah. You walk up those stairs, and you board the plane last. It is gangster. Damn. So now, if there's a nuclear war, you're going to be in the bunker. You're one oh, of those people. Oh, yeah. No, listen. Here's the deal. Do you know who it's, killed JFK? By the way, I just met Oliver Stone. The, uh, <laughs> yeah. By the he way. He seems like a tough <laughs> hang. He, I love him, he was a tough, but he seems an intense hang. Google the picture. He did not enjoy Burt Kreischer. <laughs> yeah, you two are polar opposite. <laughs> yeah, it was very... He you ever was, been struck by lightning? <laughs> He's talking about World War II or something. You ever have a public sub? <laughs> he optioned the rights to my life. That's yeah, why, yeah, yeah, that's yeah, why course, I met him. Of course. So, so... Uh, but no, so it's a private suite for me is the alternative of flying private. Like I love flying private, but it's just so does not make sense financially. Okay, you have to be making, you have to be making, you have to have Joe Rogan signing bonus money, and mm-hmm. even Joe doesn't fly private all the time. Like it just is so expensive to fly from New York to L.A. is insane. So my 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 caveat is. I can get private suite for a fraction of the cost. Mm-hmm. For me by myself, it's six hundred dollars. 
Six hundred dollars for me to go private suite. How can we don't got that pinhead. You can. You can. <laughs> well, you got. You got to join Patreon. You're telling folks. me to get TSA pre-check. Yeah, you these gotta... bozos don't even have pre-check yet. Oh, I go through pre-check when we go on the road. I go through pre-check. I gotta fucking wait for these animals. No oh. caviar over there. I can tell you that. You're dead weight to me. You are the fucking. <laughs> you are the Donner <laughs> Party. You can eat oh, each man. other's dicks. Thank you. I am going. I'm sitting in a cafe at, waiting I'm for these fucking at jerk a off. fucking bar yes. going. They can suck my dick. Damn. Bert, it's me, Foley from Are You Garbage. You guys stink. I'm hanging with Bert from now. You got to be a member of private suite. So that's the hard, that's the caveat. You got to pay like hypothetically a, a big chunk of money for a membership. Mm -hmm. But like then forty the bucks. What are we talking about? <laughs> a couple of scratchers. What yeah. are we talking? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Is there a payment plan situation? <laughs> <laughs> I put one on layaway, Bert. I'm well, good for it. Do they take podcast merch? <laughs> we got new tour tees. We're giving tour tees coming your way. <laughs> Thanks, the middle class man. famous tour. I Check will, it out. I be in L.A. I promise you this. I promise you this. If you're ever in L.A., okay, I'm gonna I, be I promise. Yeah, we're going to be there in two weeks. Are you really? Yeah. yeah. And then when do you leave? If, if I'm there and I'm flying out, I will take you with me on private suite. And you will, by the way. He brings us in, just throws us out. Yeah, we, go, <laughs> we get checked like luggage. Here's the best part of it. We're down in the bottom with all the dogs and stuff. <laughs> here's the best part of it is you pay for everything in that room. So they want you to take it with you. You take it. Do you um, take it? We take it. That's trashy, though. That's the trash in you. Hold on. They got. Look, take. This is the if you're walking with like half empty bottles of if fucking If you pull out Pellegrino. a Delta blanket right now, I'm going to lose it. <laughs> He's got the eye mask. <laughs> <laughs> you guys need headphones? Huh? Who wants headphones? They, this is private suite loot right here, okay? This toothbrush. Oh, that's pretty cool, though. Yeah. Oh, you just got a loose toothbrush in your pocket? That's insane, dude. What that's the fuck crazy, are we doing dude? here? This charger. So they give, they give you these chargers, these lightning chargers that charge really Those fast. Those are pretty good. The they mega They always Jones. have them in there, and when we go there, we fight for them. Like, Steve Fury's like, I call charger. And you're like, whoa. He's, he's talking about private suites at the fucking airport then pulls out a loose toothbrush from Dude, his fucking jacket. Today's this a long guy day. is you know, insane. A long, today's a long day. I like brushing my teeth every I now get and it, but that's nuts, dude. Pop in a CVS or a Dwayne, yeah. Dwayne Reed, they're on every corner. I keep it in my pocket. You never know. Oh, dude, that's <laughs> you should not... have a cover on it, man. No, it's my pocket. It's so funny. I was literally going to ask. One of the questions we do sometimes is, what's in your pocket? I wish I would have done that before that. It's that would have been insane. A thousand dollars, a loose toothbrush, my headset, <laughs> yeah. I got 35 grand, and two Xanax. Uh, two Bitcoins, some loose drugs, and, and a toothbrush. $400 worth of fish eggs. <laughs> Psycho. They're still good. I got to eat them by noon. I just eat the I fucking, love that you take everything. I just, oh, you take everything. That's the trash you, in you. you. We empty that fucking place. I mean, it. they have nothing left in that room when we leave. And especially during pandemic, they were like, they had to trash it because it's someone who just was there. It's the justification. So, so yeah, I mean, we're talking, and they know what you like. So now, like, they leave extra chocolate covered almonds, <sighs> extra Skittles, extra, they have wine. Not that many beers. They have these little immunity shots. I, we fucking take everything. Man, love it. That's I take the caviar spoons, too. <laughs> so I can do bumps later. Yeah, little key bumps. <laughs> Use them for my ice cream. <laughs> Makes me feel like a giant. <laughs> By the way, eating, That's how I eat my tricks. <laughs> eating ice cream with a sample spoon is the fucking greatest. Dude. It's the only way. What kind of animal eats it with a regular fucking no, spoon? No, tablespoon all Ta day. Oh, no. Baby. You're crazy. Sample spoon. Sample spoon. I would spoon. use a ladle if I could. Oh. <laughs> like a lot of milk with my, with, with my cocoa puffs. Oh. Uh. Man, you are oh, something else, Jesus my friend. Jesus Christ. Have you ever been to small claims court? <laughs> I have not. Okay. Will you sit at the counter at a diner? I will. Mm. You don't have to look, but in your pocket right now, are there any bills with tape on them? No. You can do that right away. Have you ever owned a lizard, snake, or a bird? Uh, uh, all of them. Oof. Have you ever stuffed somebody in a locker or been stuffed in a locker yourself? Yeah. Actually done it. I've been stuffed in a locker, yes. Late bloomer, huh? <laughs> yeah. A couple of weeks ago. <laughs> yeah. That's Segura. After he has a couple of drinks, get real, gets real handsy. It was Maybe at the Denver too. airport, believe it or not. Hurt locker. <laughs> uh, hmm. Were you ever big into Auto Trader magazine? Nope. Ever ruined a family vacation or gathering? Yep. <laughs> I mean, probably this week if I had to a get A couple it. times. A couple. A couple. Of, of a fair amount of times. Like straight, like everyone left. Too drunk or you said something? Uh, a number of times. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you showed us a toothbrush, all right? Give the guy some well, Yeah, what more do you space. want? Um, do you cut your burger in half when you eat it? 100%. Gentlemen. Really? 100%. Wow. 
Will you take uh, the steak knife from a nice steakhouse? No. When was the last time you stole a pint glass from a bar? Probably pretty recently. Yeah, I could. Yeah. Well, yeah, but just because I, I make Irish exits, Irish goodbyes. So well, you sneak the beer out so you can have I it on the walk. I don't sneak it. I just walk it. Yeah, you kind of got that cachet now. Yeah. Yeah. In I'm the, the left- machine. <laughs> <laughs> what do you want? It's what me. Do you do? I got struck by lightning. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. <laughs> In the last 365 days, have you shit in your pants? Oh, God, yeah. <laughs> Are you fucking serious? This guy's that is the, puts, huh? That's private fucking, lounge over Jesus. here, hey, boys? I shit in they the bed. They give you all the pants you need. <laughs> um, all right. Hmm. Anyone in your family play semi-pro football? No. Okay. You ever wore pants that zip into shorts? Yeah. <laughs> That's a very Florida yeah, thing. I yeah, yeah. Gotta be ready to party. But keep... they only zip once, and then you never go back to bed. Yeah. <laughs> You're like, well, it looks like I have shorts now. I lost that leg. Yeah, they, that's what nobody thinks about. You gotta walk around with half a set of pants in your pockets. <laughs> Where are you gonna put your toothbrush? What are we doing? Um, <laughs> magazines in the bathroom? Yes. Okay. Hmm. Have you ever had a quail egg? Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> you like yeah, them? I love them. I just had fucking... What, 15 the other day? 15? Yeah, I had a full fucking jar. It's a big omelet. Yeah, I have a, a large amount of quail eggs. I wow. love, I actually love quail eggs. A 15 quail what egg. What is that? How many come in a jar? We got a jar of quail eggs. I ate all of them. I ate them in the fucking car ride over. I couldn't stop eating them. I love quail eggs. Wait, they were hard boiled? Yeah. Oh, hard God. boiled. I've had, I've had, I've had every type of quail egg you can have. <laughs> now that you say that, I, I really enjoyed, I enjoyed duck eggs. I love eggs. I love eggs. Big egg guy. I like eggs, too. I like eggs. What do you do if you crack an egg and there's like the double yolk? Oh, I jack off. Yeah, it's good, right? <laughs> I jack off. That's good. That's I a take, good time. I take pictures of it. Mm-hmm. I take pictures of it. I post it on Instagram. I send it to Rogan. Look what my fucking, look what my chickens are doing. Yeah. Yeah. It's a good time. Root beer or birch beer? Root beer. Hmm. You didn't, you could have said anything after that. And I knew <laughs> really? Do you have a specific brand that you like? No. I, any, A&W Barks? Uh, A&W Mug? is my, what we have on the bus. I love A&W. Uh-huh. Uh, but I love going and finding sm- like of course any- of oh, course someone's- if you're from you got Philly roots check out Hanks. Oh, I've had Hanks. Hanks. I've had Hanks. Right. I've had Hanks. Right. I'll tell you right now in a, in a parallel universe, I am brewing root beer in Northern Washington <laughs> with a beautiful blonde Swedish wife, six kids, and a and, shitload of quail eggs, and <laughs> fucking and a lot of St. Bernards. Hmm. Well, that's a good time. Uh, you got the tour bus now. Is there is there an essential item for the tour bus that really ups the quality of life for you? Uh. Yeah, a water pick. I couldn't get really? into it. I tried it. I couldn't uh, get into it. I like it. I water pick probably twice a day. Mm-hmm. I love water pick. I tried. Picking. I bought one. Everybody was raving. I got one. It just didn't stick. You floss oh. every day? I floss every day. You do? Yeah. You do old school floss or the picks? Picks. They're picks. great. The glides. I'll, I'll, and let me tell you something. They're fantastic. If I find a pick, I know it's mine, I'll use it again. Wow. Whoa. Do you smell them? Always. Oh, you got to smell them. Hit me, baby. Fingers. Fingers on the, on the floss. Run Rip them down. down. And then... To the nose. I told him that. He was mind was blown. You gotta smell. Oh. I've been doing it ever since. It's some of the ripest <laughs> shit you've ever had in your life. Dude, I have a hole in one of my molars. Ugh. That's why I'm water picking so much lately. And I in the morning I will I will water pick that hole and the smell that comes out is so aggressive. Yeah. Uh, what's it's what like are they what's meat. going on it's in bad. there? It's wild. I, it's like bacteria. Here, I'll show it to you. Take a look. Where? Oh, right there, yeah. And uh it's nice. good looking tongue though. Thank you. It looks like he was chewing firecrackers. In there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I have. Oh, I should tell you this. I got hit in the mouth with a baseball bat when I was 11, and I lost 26 teeth. So what are you all a the shark? teeth, all the teeth you see, <laughs> who has that many teeth in 11? We, you have 32. You have 32. Uh, well, I'm an asshole. That's like the seven ten split. <laughs> Jesus Christ! But you never count on your teeth. I've, no, I've never counted my teeth. How many teeth do you wait? That would have been a great question. How many teeth do you think do you, you have? Think you have? <laughs> 100, 115. I don't know, 2, 220. <laughs> whatever it takes, you know what I mean? What movie is that from? <laughs> what, two, 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 uh, Mr. Dad. Mr. Mom, Mr. Mr. Mom, yeah, yeah, Michael Keaton. Oh, what are you working on, some electrical work? Yeah, what are you doing? 220, 220, whatever it takes. Yeah. Why don't you come on in here, Ron? <laughs> sure, you're doing a little of my time off. Hebo, can I grab one more? Shut up, I'll Mark take Mall. one more, too. That's fucking great. Yeah, yeah. Drinking beers uh, with the machine during yeah. the day. Let's fucking go. Yeah. This is it. This is what we play for. Uh, have you ever had one of those magic wallets? Where you can go like this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh of course, God. of course. I've been saving that for a year. I knew he was going to say yes. Of course I did. If you're getting a baked potato, what are the toppings that you prefer on it? You're not going to like this. He's going to paint his masterpiece. Just butter. 
I'm all right with what that you, classic. Right I will the middle. put one full stick of butter on a baked potato. I mm-hmm. fucking love butter. It's awesome. A big one from a steakhouse. You're, talk, you're talking fancy. to a huge butter man. I uh, use it like icing. I'm telling you. It's I, unbelievable. Dude, I use it on it. Can I tell you, I dated a chick who put it on a Pop-Tart one time, Whoa. and it's a game changer. Someone I'll give was you just something. talking about that. I'll give you something. Get a honey bun. Put it in the microwave with the butter on top for like... Look at him. (laughs) His eyes just rolled back in his head. Burnt for like 12 seconds. Enter Nirvana. Unbelievable. My daughter puts them on Oreos. Butter on Oreos? But she put... Man, she has a butter problem. I love... Dude, I love it. She just gave up veganism. So Isla, my youngest, was like... One day came down and she... I'm going vegan. And we're like, that's stupid. She's like, I'm going vegan. I have headaches and and I think it'll get rid of them. And so she was vegan for like... Six months, seven months, maybe, as, as, since April. April, right? The other night she comes down and she goes, I'm done. Let's get a pizza. I said, what? She goes, pizza, sausage, and onion. And Whoa. then we were like, oh, okay. And then the, the next day she goes, steak. I need a steak. Back on the horse. And then she, we went to In-N-Out last night for dinner. I mean, she is fucking back. And Love she that. wolfed nice. down that burger. Yeah, fucking mm. Punching cows when she walks by <laughs> yeah. them. I like Pussy, it. don't look at me. Uh, Pop-Tarts or Toaster Strudel? Pop-Tarts. Oh, wait, Toast em Strudels? <laughs> That's not what they're called. <laughs> I thought they were called Toast for the record, folks. Toaster Strudels. I thought it was Toast em Strudels. No. <laughs> Just so everybody knows. Is that knows. Toast em Strudels? <laughs> no, it's Toaster Strudels. Are you and by the way, Bert, it is April, okay? Just, just wanted to let you know that. <laughs> it's no, April? It's March. Oh, 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 so it was about a year ago. <laughs> wait, to- is it Toast em Strudels? No, Toast Strudels. Toast Strudels. You're thinking of steak. Steak-ums. Pills, pills. Steak-ums. How do you feel about steakums? Uh, Come on, Daddy. One hundred percent. Good night. Yeah. It's toastum strudels. No, it's not. Dude. Toaster, toaster, strudels. toaster strudels. Strudels. Uh, toastum strudels. That's the Mandalorian effect you're talking about. <laughs> the right? Mandela effect. Mandela effect. Mandalorian effect. <laughs> I'm it's, surrounded by bozos. His right birds now. rubbing off on me. It's toaster. I got a bad, bird on me. We got a bad case of the Chrysler's. <laughs> it's called toaster strudels. Toaster yeah. strudels. Pillsbury I toaster strudels. All these years, I thought it was toaster. Oh, strudels. that's going viral. <laughs> toast them strudels. Which they were awesome when we were kids, but yeah. I don't know about now. Now the pop tart has really, really come into its own. Yeah, they really know what they're doing. I'll tell you what. Hot or cold. I I'll tell you what. When especially when someone takes something that's industrial, corporate, and then makes it their own. Have you had homemade pop tarts? No, oh, how so do you do that? I get them. Like, oh. a lot of people will bake stuff for our show. Mm-hmm. Like, they'll bake us stuff. We had a woman, not trying to throw anyone under the bus. We had a woman one time, because I like, I like cr- Uncrustables. Yeah. She made me un- an Uncrustable donut, her homemade wow. Uncrustable donut. Wow. That was so good. Wow. Tim Dillon woke up at 6 in the morning <laughs> and got an Uber to her place and bought some for himself before we left that morning. Damn. They were that Fucking good. shout out to Timmy yeah, D. Yeah, Timmy D knows what he's I doing. I like that move. Snack. But I've had homemade Pop Tarts and they are wow. fucking phenomenal. I never even thought of that. If there was just a little more filling in them, that's yeah, my, they got to be juicy. They got to be like the so, double so, stuff. So homemade Pop Tarts probably are. are probably like yeah. this big, this, this, but they're this thick. Ah, that's what I'm talking and they about. They fucking come in your mouth. That's what I'm talking about. Will you do a Fig Newton? A hundred percent. A sleeve of Fig Newtons. Yeah. You can't just. Do I don't do those. one cookie. Yeah, I'm not a one cookie guy. I'm a. I'm a. I'm not really want anything. Guy I'm gonna. Or... I'm a. I'm a. I'm gonna <laughs> suck down a regrettable amount of cookies. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Favorite it's... cookie? One cookie. What is it? Oreos. Yeah. I have a problem with Oreos. Standard, straight up, regular. Double stuffed. Double stuffed. Double okay. Stuffed. You ever put them in milk and crunch them up and eat them like cereal? I'm sorry. I yeah. apologize. Yeah. Oh, I didn't yeah. mean to insult the gentleman. You almost, <laughs> you almost hit you. <laughs> Dude, I, I'll take I'll take nutter butters and leave them on the Ooh. counter for an evening so they get stale and they're soft. And with when it comes to Oreos, I soak them. I take the Got fork, it. shove it in the icing, and then I stick it in the fucking thing until it's fucking good. And, and then pull it out, still attached to the fork, and to the mouth. God damn Because the I icing's hard and the cookie's soft. Yeah. I love right. Oreos. Yeah, it's something else. Hmm. This is a big one. Okay. This might determine a lot. Okay. All right, I'm going to give you two choices. Hellman's mayonnaise or Miracle Whip. Oh, Hellman's. Without a fucking doubt. I almost had you escorted from the premises. I I made the big mistake in college of getting Miracle Whip thinking it was mayonnaise. It ain't. It it, stinks. And and I, I, because I I like mayonnaise, sardines, and saltine crackers. Whoa. Mayonnaise, sardines, and saltine crackers. How are things in the 20s? (laughs) Jesus Christ. Isn't that what they ate in the burbs? In that movie, The Weird Get Family? In my belt. <laughs> <laughs> That's Civil War shit yeah. right there. 
Jesus oh, That's Christ. like Finland shit. Who does that? I loved it. Especially so they served on the Titanic. Dude. It's so fucking good. This guy's old school. A saltine, <laughs> a dab of mayonnaise with the with the sardine, and uh, and I and I picked up uh, Miracle Whip, and I was trying to explain to a girl how good it was. And I used Miracle Whip instead, and all of a sudden I put it in my mouth. I was like, this isn't what yeah. it is. <laughs> Get it out. I got the wrong thing in my mouth. Mm. <laughs> this is peanut butter. Yeah. Miracle Whip stinks. Uh, you can only choose one. The Cool Ranch Dorito or the original nacho cheese? Original nacho cheese. Yeah, of Ooh. course. Surprised. Fucking gentlemen. Bagel bites or pizza rolls? Pizza rolls. Whoa. Uh, at the Chrysler household now. Single family? <laughs> <laughs> no, who all lives there? Please tell me. No, it's me, my daughter, and my wife. <laughs> Got two dogs. <laughs> Had a parakeet and all. What the fuck happened to him? Is the butter on the counter or is it in the fridge? Butter's on the counter. Whoa. Nice. Is it salted or unsalted? Unsalted. Is that a you thing or your wife thing? That's a my wife thing. Yeah. Are we uh, Eggs on the counter, butter on the counter. You can't do eggs on the counter. Oh, yeah. That's Hold Europe. On. Are you, you can't do, do that. Do you have here. chickens we yourself, have, though? We, we oh. had chickens. Yeah. We, they're okay. all dead now, but we were eggs on the counter, Jesus, butter on the counter. This guy's a real fucking party pooper. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> and feathers on the Eggs, now. <laughs> feathers on the eggs yeah. like it was and we got the best eggs now that they're all dead eggs in the eggs in the fridge eggs gotta go butter fridge still on the treated. counter yeah okay butter still on the Did counter you grow up butter on the counter or butter? oh no yeah butter oh in the no fridge. butter in the fridge peanut butter in the fridge peanut, peanut butter. butter in the fridge hot sauce in the fridge this man was raised by wolves yeah get hot sauce everything in the fridge. fridge everything in the fridge ketchup ketchup, ketchup in the fridge ketchup yeah. fridge yes yeah yeah, yeah. syrup in the fridge. Cold syrup on an my, Eggo in the morning? Not my wife. I'll my wife's it. syrup in the count. Are the we counter. talking like Aunt Jemima or like proper maple syrup? When I was a kid, we didn't get proper maple yeah, syrup. Yeah, you got, we got, you got whatever, was yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. whatever was at Publix, yeah. Hmm. <laughs> when the lightning wasn't there. Yeah. <laughs> when you weren't fucking Storm Jason. <laughs> Wonder Bread White or Stroman Wheat? Wonder Bread White. Yeah, whoa. That's a curveball. I like yeah. it. That I just like made it. me mad, that question. Any relatives... Uh, Aunts, uncles that you don't call by their real name, like an Aunt Tootie, an Uncle Cookie, a JoJo. Aunt Quinny. Uncle Pooch. Whoa! Uncle Bones. You got Pooch and Bones? Mama Jim. Mama Jim? Mama Jim. Uh, Hobby. Yeah, all, what are you, all, Hobby? all of what are you, them. What are you, Leonard Skinner? Mama <laughs> yeah. Jim? All of them. They I, all sound like roadies, by the way. It's like all a of junk them. band. Yeah, all of yeah. them. Yeah. <laughs> Aunt Keep it Rini. up for Mama Jim on the buckets. <laughs> yeah, Mama Jim. Raised, she does it yeah. solo. Mama Jim playing the caviar spoons, y'all. Yeah, n- yeah, um, yeah. A lot of nicknames. Holy we're big. Shit. We're a big nickname family. You got a nickname in the family? I've got a million. <laughs> a fetus from the family? No, no. Oh, for, anybody? Any from I'm, the family? I'm Birdie Boy to everyone. Birdie everyone calls boy. me That's boy, a fun Birdie one. Boy. Uh, Bebopper. Uh, my daughters call me Fetus. Bertrude McFuzz. Uh, Fafitas, li- Bertie Gaga. They never, they never <laughs> call me Daddy. They're Dad, Dad. Really? They call me Daddy. Huh. I remember one time. I remember one time. I I messed up. What I went to say was Dad, please. But I said Daddy, please. And Whoa. my fucking sisters lost their fucking <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah. They're like, Did you just call him Daddy? Yeah. And you drop like, a Daddy at a certain you age, you never look Daddy at a certain yeah. age, and it is like it's that's it's bad. like your dick falling out of your pants or seeing your mom's <laughs> pussy. It's bad. <laughs> God. Uh, Holy shit. How do you feel about the rotisserie chicken? Fucking Come on. love it. Yeah, we're a toe gang, baby. Can I, tell gang. I will not buy whole chickens and rotisserie them myself because they're the same price. You can oh, yeah. for the same price. It's you like can a get nickel. It. You get a whole chicken. You get a done. whole chicken sitting in its juices for hours. Yeah, it's it's the greatest oh fuck. you make chicken salad out of those? Uh I how do you eat it? You uh, just fucking go. Well, you just go. I I I quarter it. Immediately, I go take. I take poultry scissors. Real quick, but for the, let's let's be very real. If we have a rotisserie chicken, I take the top off and I pull off one thigh and leg, and I eat the thigh and leg very quickly, sure. very quickly, with some El Yucateca hot sauce mixed with ranch. Okay, mixed then, with. Then I what? What pour, color El Yucateca? Uh, the triple X, the hottest one that makes you shit blood. And where, yeah. are, you, where are you mixing it? Are you having like a on ramekin? A, on a plate. On a plate. On a plate. On a plate. Okay. Ranch El Yucateca. Mix them, and I will do. Uh, one thigh, one leg. Then I'll cut up. I'll take scissors, cut the breasts up, and I cut the breasts in Jamaican chunks. You know where they just slice? Yes, like ch- ch- they ch- just ch- cut. Ch- Jamaicans yeah. will just cut. Loose, rough. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I do that, and I will eat a half a chicken standing over it when oh, we yeah. get it back from the grocery store. I'm at the counter. You're going. Um, That's like I'm a bag of chips. At the counter, I yeah. I love rotisserie chicken. So good. Like you can't bring if you bring one home. 
You need to bring two home knowing that I'm going to take that first one down. Love it. Love it. I assume you're a big eat the groceries when they get back. On a Saturday, oh. it's nice. Oh, I'm We a, talk about fresh, fresh lunch meat all the time. A fresh sandwich, a French lo- fresh like turkey and cheese or whatever an, on a nice roll. I'm an Ooh. eat the groceries in the store kind of guy, too. Oh. Or do you walk up with like an empty wrapper like, hey, I had this loaf of bread or whatever? Yeah. <laughs> I, That's wh- so tragic. Yeah, hey, you're all out of grapes. <laughs> <laughs> Supply chain issues, I guess, huh? The first time I ate fruit, I ate These cheeses were open. <laughs> I ate fruit, and then I brought it up, and I'd eaten half of it, like cherries. I'd been eating cherries the whole time. It's all pits and shit. And then another but this woman's like, I don't know how many you've eaten. <laughs> you're going to have to get on the scale, yeah, sir. I don't know how many you ate. And I was like, why? Oh, a way bunch. station. She goes, yeah, but you just ate a bunch, but you haven't paid yeah, for you them. You can't and I, eat by weight yeah, shit. Yeah, I was eating cherries and just spitting them in the thing. And she was like, well, how many did you eat? And I was like, a lot. And then, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> but we used to do that with bread. We'd, my, they'd bring La Brea Breaker. We'd bring over bread, and I'd get my daughters, and we'd rip the top. I'd rip it in half, and they'd just tick their arms in the bread with a stick of butter, just going fucking butter to bread, Jeez. butter to bread. In the fucking. Bear backing it. He's the lost. Gelsons, the Gelsons, right before the pandemic, the Gelsons across the street from my old house, it opened a wine bar in it. And so you could go in. I would go, I love this more than anything, walking in around sunset, going to the wine bar, having a glass of wine, then doing a little bit of grocery shopping, then coming back, having another glass of wine, then doing a little grocery shopping. It's the most birthday. Coming back, ever. having another glass of wine, and then buying a bottle of wine from them and going home. And be like, I got groceries fucking hammered. It was the <laughs> fucking greatest. I ate half of them, yeah. but still. Dude, I There's was. There's some cherry pits in there. I hate the paper towels. I mean, at one point, I, would, I had stepped it up, and I would, I would take a vape pen, mm-hmm. and all of a sudden, I'm getting fucking. Yeah, you're partying. Club yeah. H- hammered, like club yeah. hammered at a grocery store, coming back with the weirdest shit. I'm like, hey, we're making matzo ball soup tonight. She's like, fuck, when's matzo ball soup? It's August. <laughs> <laughs> I would get some weird purchases back then. God. (laughs) This guy's fucking out of his mind. Uh, Who? Um. Hmm. hmm, Will you put gum under the table? Oh, yeah. (laughs) (laughs) Will you eat gum from under the table? (laughs) He's like a goat. (laughs) No, I. (laughs) Look over, he's chewing the can. (laughs) Gum under the Get off the couch. (laughs) Gum under the table should be understood. The one one of the worst ones, and this is one Seguro makes fun of me for the most, was. Leanne and I, when we first moved in together, uh, we, we lived in this apartment downstairs, and then we moved to the big apartment upstairs. That night, Segura and Christina came over for dinner in our new apartment, and we had moved our, we had moved our uh, dining room, our, our coffee table upstairs. And nice. as we were moving it upstairs, we lifted it, mm-hmm. and we flipped it upside down to carry it. And underneath, I had been taping my toenails. Taping them? I would cut my toenails, and then instead of throwing them away, I'd grab tape, and I'd tape them, and then I'd tape them under the thing. Thinking one day, so, so like, my, my goal was one day we'll see this and we'll laugh, right? And then I would got to be there the day Leanne saw it, and I got to see the look on her face, and I could not stop laughing at the look on her face of like, oh, I forgot I did that for both of us so that we could both see it. And she told it to Tom that night, and he looked at me like I was a fucking wild animal. Yeah, he goes, I'm kind of looking at taping, you like that. That's you're taping insane. your toenails to the bottom of the table, and I was like, "Yeah." Taking want- the time to tape the toenails. It's one thing to like flick it behind the couch, or oh, you know. I do that with uh, with with um, uh, Q-tips? Q-tips. I put them on the door jams, and no one can reach them. So I and no one in my house can reach the door jams. So, so where's that pay? Where's the payoff on that? Joke? They're just all every door jam has a fucking set of Q-tips. Thirty years from now, we're gonna have a real big laugh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm dead and gone, and you guys go to move. Those new owners are gonna laugh. Uh, that's great. Where do you? All right, if you're in your car, you know, and you pick your nose, where's that going? In my mouth. Whoa. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we interrupt this broadcast. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> this Holy trash. shit. In Did you just admit <laughs> to being a booger eater? I still to this day. <laughs> <laughs> if I get a good one, I get excited. Oh, Are we going to have to cut this? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, don't be, don't be giving out stuff that you're going to make us cut uh, later on. Leanne will fucking get so mad at me. She'll be like, Did you just eat a fucking booger? We'll do it with your a... wife in the car. Ask by yourself. I'll do it. I'll do it. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> What's the difference between this and that? Oh, I mean. Have you ever snorted and you get a chunk of booger in your mouth? Yeah. Yeah, it's the same fucking thing. It's called society. Yeah, right? <laughs> well, there's rules, dude. <laughs> He's got his pants on. This kid's bunkers. I'm Jonathan Living Seagull. Jesus. 
<laughs> that I've read. <laughs> Holy oh. shit. In the mouth. Wow. And I don't give a fuck. I wipe from the front and I eat boogers. I don't give a fuck. I wiped from the front for a long time. You switched? Yeah. Wait, what do you mean from the front? Go in, go in between. Front. Yeah, I do that. I think. Well, you'd know. Yeah. I don't know. I know. Really go to wipe your that. ass. <laughs> I think I go in from the front. Yeah, I go from the front. Yeah, and go I, catch her. And when I when I go catch her, <laughs> dude, throw the signs. When I and when I I've said it on stage at times where I have talked about wiping my ass, and oh, because I'm because I'm right now I'm at the right now I'm at the the cusp weight. 255 of wh- whether or not you're too fat to wipe your ass. I've, I'm crossing that bridge now. Yeah, and so when you get you're there... You're way bigger gotta... than 255. I don't know why. <laughs> uh, no, I didn't mean that. I, I wasn't each, trying to misrepresent I guess, myself. I guess it's a personal weight for each person. I was weighted Bloody. to trainers today. I'm 403. I admit that. I meant it's starting to become... Wow, that's that's a like on Patreon. You just dropped 403? It's starting to become an issue uh, back so there. So you've gained 13 pounds in the weight loss challenge? Good to know. <laughs> <laughs> The Vegas odds were 20, so I'm doing okay. <laughs> hey, I made out like a bandit regardless. But I found a solution for it. A reacher? No. <laughs> what, hiring somebody? <laughs> no. no. <laughs> Is that what this guy does? <laughs> Picked him up at the Sky Lounge. No, you get a stick. I guess Big Pun had a stick that he'd wipe his ass with. I picture one of those things that like throw the tennis ball for the dog. That would yeah. be pretty good. Yeah, probably. something like that, but with a claw. Yeah. My girlfriend's going to be really upset when clean she hears this. Oh, I love this. Um, so we have, uh, you know, a detachable shower hose. So I've created what I call the American bidet. Which is? I do my business. Shower, I think. I do my business. I flush it so no one sees that there is no toilet paper in there. And I get in the shower and I squat down and I put it on the massage and I blast it out. Well, you know, Hello Tushy has a great option. Yeah? Installs in under eight minutes. Bleep so don't, that. Don't need any electricity. <laughs> <laughs> fucking guy. <laughs> there they, better be one in that bag. <laughs> <laughs> this man, yeah, he better be head of my apartment to install one right now. If that's what you're dropping. You got to pay to play around yeah. here, Chrysler. Yeah. Helix mattresses out there too, Bert? What the fuck? <laughs> Can't be. T- Toby, give me my athletic greens right now. Yeah. My athletic greens. Give me my AG1. <laughs> These Muggsy jeans are comfortable. <laughs> I'm stuffing blue shoes down my mouth. <laughs> That's Coinbase.com, folks. <laughs> I think I could use some therapy. BetterHelp.com. <laughs> Promo code garbage. That one I'll get behind. Folks, are you shitting in the shower? <laughs> are you a fat piece of shit? <laughs> Segura was the first person that turned me on to bidets. I would li- I, 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 I've I, used them in Europe. They're fantastic. I have a backless toilet, so I can't get one. A tankless I have a toilet. city to tankless oh, toilet. Oh, oh, okay, yeah, yeah. And the, yeah. Those, the, the fucking bidet is a game changer. I know, I know. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah. I get it going so hard it breaks the, the O-ring. So I like to On go, your butt? I like it to go in a little bit yeah. and stir things up. I like up. it nice and clean back there. As fat as I am, I do, and I even sometimes, if I don't have time to take a shower, in my home toilet, I want that on record, in my home toilet, I will poop, I will flush, and then as I go in to wipe my butt, I'll let, a, let the toilet paper hit a little bit of water, and then I'll do it like that. Really? Yeah, get a, get a little wet wash on there. That brings up a, a question. If you're in a public restroom, right? I love it. I'm already excited. And you got to poop. It's an away game. You know, not ideal, but you got to do it. How are you cleaning that toilet seat? What's your procedure? I, hold you on. Wipe, I you... say you're not doing anything. You're barebacking it. He's uh, eating boogers. <laughs> so, what are you talking so, about? So uh, for the most part, I, I was I was a big uh, toilet seat cover guy. Like the like the you can't get the thing. spread though. Well, they don't go that. You got to rip the front and then kind of you got you got its piece work. I had a I had an incident with one of them one time where I I long flight I take a shit at the airport long flight get home wake up the next morning naked and my wife's like did you take a shit at the airport yesterday I was like I There's did a flight attendant in there she was like <laughs> she was like that paper toilet seat cover was still there in your I in had your underwear on, on my I had I don't wear underwear. So I had taken I'm a sorry. shit on it. I'd sat for so long, it, it became stuck. one with me. That's my biggest fear. I put my fear. pants on over it. I sat on it for a five-hour fucking flight. I then, I then went to sleep in it and then got up and it was still there. And Leanne was like, holy fucking shit. Like a craft single. So yeah. But now, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. But now it's kind of like, now I'm kind of like, I don't, just I, don't think, I don't think you need to do anything. I mean, I'll, I'll look for piss, but... If it's dry. Like, yeah, you got to make sure it's dry. Now, here's a question for you. If you sit down on a toilet seat and it's warm, does it get... Does it 
just happened to me yesterday in the bathroom here. I love it. And I'm pretty sure it was t- Toby, which bothered me yeah. as I was pooping. Yeah, if you know the person, I was just mind out of mind uh, over matter. It's a straight, it's anonymous. Toilets it's okay. here. I'm like, what one did he choose? And I thought I chose right, but I sat down. It was warm, and I'm like, Ugh. I picked the wrong one. Yeah, but I was already in there. He'll dump. He'll take toilet paper, put it in the water, wipe the seat. <laughs> You're eating boogers, dude. Hold on. You got a loose How toothbrush in your that, pocket. Dude? You're eating How boogers, man. No, 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 no. That's <laughs> what you're doing is way worse. <laughs> what you're doing is way fucking worse. It's, it's insane. way worse, dude. Insane. It's way worse. Builds up the that immune is- system. <laughs> dude, he's doing that mid-pandemic. Were he's you- just raw dogging it were into you- a toilet. Were you raised by fucking paupers? <laughs> <laughs> were, were your were your were your parents oh. train jumpers? What the fuck? <laughs> train Going jump- town to town, pooping <laughs> in other people's bed. No, no, this is how we do it. This is how we do it. <laughs> insane. <laughs> Good God. Oh, God. This Do you have a preferred Benedict? Salmon, Florentine, egg. crab. Uh, what do you like? Well, you know, it's, are you an Eggs Benedict guy? I I, I'm a big, I'm a big Eggs Benedict guy, but I end up just eating the egg. Uh, I don't. What? Oh, I'll tell you what. If I have an Eggs Benedict that I could pick, catfish Eggs Benedict. Whoa. I had it the other day. Not, you're not eating the English muffin? I don't touch a muffin. Why what? not? Uh, I don't know. You not like them? No, no, I, I don't do. like them either. I do. It's just that I, I got to be Wait, honest. Wait, hold with you. on, hold on. You don't like English muffins? I have weird. I have weird punitive things in my diet that Too many I nooks don't. And crannies. That I don't fuck with. So like, um, so like if I eat a hot dog, I will take half of the bun off, and then because I, I love hot dogs, but I feel really guilty with that much bun. So I'll take half the bun off and just use half of a bun to eat a hot dog. I get that. And so the with eggs Benedicts, I love eggs Benedict, but I feel really guilty eating the. The muffins. The muffins. And I know that the part I really like is the egg and the meat. And so I'll just get eggs, Benedict. I, sometimes I'll just get the, eat the egg part. I love eggs. You oh are such God. a rare form of gluttony and discipline. Yeah, we need like it's nine a, it's more a bizarre, It's I'm a bizarre. Like, I, I was explaining to someone the other day, I, I, I'm more effective in life if I'm hungover. I'm more, I get more done because I wake up with a fire under my ass going, working. going you fucked up. You party last night. You deserve guilt, this. Yeah. Get the fuck out of bed. Let's get on the treadmill. Let's work out. Let's get shit done. Uh, and if I if I haven't drank, I wake up and I'm like, huh, I feel pretty good. I think I'm going to have breakfast this morning. Mm-hmm. And then I make breakfast yeah, and I'll be yeah, like, yeah. I'm going to hang, go I'm get a coffee yeah, or yeah. whatever. Yeah. And I, so I can't, I can't get shit done if I don't. You don't have the motivation. Yeah, if I drink, I, I have motivation because I, I wake up and I go, one day you're going yeah. to wake up with a stroke. One day you're going to be dead. You need to get the fuck out of bed. This You need to. Get that poison out of your body. Time to work out. Get on the treadmill. Get in the sauna. Get in the polar plunge. Let's get fucking working and get on the phone. Add a couple podcasts. Get on. The, go to New York. Get there early. Like yeah, yeah, that's yeah. how my brain works. It's yeah, working. Yeah. Don't fucking if it, you know if it ain't broke. Don't fix it. You are um, something else, my friend. Mm-hmm. I, I, I'm a really. I'm a. I, I, I'm a like a. What's it? A, like a shark because I can't stop moving. Yeah. yeah if yeah. I start moving, I start getting depressed. And I start getting in my head, and then all of a sudden, I fucking. Fucking. It's like I don't, I just don't need it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I get it. I got to keep it cooking. That's why I like mm. going out. When I go out on tour, I go for three weeks straight. Jesus, and I just Christ. don't come home because if I come home, it's just I'm. It's like I'm slowing down. So I just go out, and then you work every single day. You work, and, you, and like they just started putting because I was doing it so bad. They just started putting literally a day in my calendar where they're like day off, and then I'm forced to take the day off. I don't. I can't. I'm fucking, I'm supposed to have a day off next Monday, and I fucking already booked Schultz's podcast. I'm like, oh, fuck, that, that's not work. Yeah. I go fucking that's hang like, out yeah, dick around. Head, you're like, oh, it's a hang. This isn't work. No. Is this, a, I mean, uh, are you being serious? Like, t- t- We're gonna, laughing and drinking beers and yeah, it's light outside. This yeah, is far from work. Someone's telling me that this is a fucking job? Yeah. No, I, I mean, I know it. we make money doing it, but it's not work. Yeah, I, was wait, I was waiting com. tables for 10 hours two years ago. Yeah. I, let me tell you something. I'm not, I'm not doing double shifts on that shit. Yeah. Like, I'm doing double shifts on the stuff I love doing. Of yeah. course. Yeah, yeah, no, so. for sure, for sure. Man, you are the machine. Hmm. Um, preferred casual dining establishment. Mr. Not Kreischer. fast food. Not fast food. Olive Garden, Applebee's, We're gonna Fridays. We're going to get into that. Uh, what preferred... It's an Italian restaurant. Olive Garden. No, I can't. I can't fuck with Cabrera's. Those. No, no, Carabas. no, no, no. Carabas. Oh no, I can't do any of those types. Like if you had to choose, no, one. you gotta go. You gotta go to a TGI Fridays, a Chili's, a Ruby Tuesdays. 
Um, a bonefish grill. Ooh. Oh, I, I like bonefish a lot. Yeah, all right. I like I like one of those, like a Carabas sure. bonefish. Okay. okay. I don't. I can't do chilies. Everything in chilies seems pretty processed to me. Yeah. Uh, I I can't do cheesecake factory because everything's really. Uh, yeah. Everything's, we just went for the first time wherever the fuck we were. On, uh, Syracuse. Syracuse. My mind was blown. Oh, it's but if you look, I felt at, like I was in a casino. If you look at the calories, they're through the roof. Oh, I, have a, I have a. Hard You're not time. a Fridays guy. No, I mean I am if I'm on the road in like Richmond, and then and that's the only place you go. Out of necessity, go. yeah. I remember going to, uh, I think it was Chili's the first time. When I first saw fajitas. I was telling my dad this. You can hear them coming. And it was the first time I was Start like maybe around. ten years old. And they came around the corner, and I went, I like, was like, yeah. And my dad just goes, You can fucking forget about it. Yeah. That's a fucking nightmare with you. I'm not getting it. You're going to get burned. Fuck that. We're not getting that. But yeah, I remember, I remember seeing fajitas for the first time. I was like, That's, that's the way I want to live life. Yeah. My family never had the confidence to order fajitas. We oh, were really? like a very don't look at me type table. You know what that I mean? That shit wasn't coming to the nah, Foley's table. No way. Really? But I know exactly what you're talking about. I had that moment too. Like, God damn, what the Those fuck? Those guys is are that? partying yeah. over there. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Shit's still cooking. Oh. They're walking it through the restaurant. God, I love fajitas. <laughs> <laughs> like, that's my go to order if I'm going to eat, 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 eat Mexican food. It's fajitas. It's fajitas. Yeah, it's a good time. Hmm. What's the coffee pot situation at the house? Uh, so it's it's mixed. We have a we have a I think it's called a Bremel. It's a n- really nice coffee. Oh, bag. they're really good. We got you, I have that juicer, the Bremel you, juicer. You put, Breville. Breville, Breville, yeah. is that it? You put all the beans in it first, and then you put the water in it, and then you tell them how many how much you make, and it makes it for you. Pretty good. My my, my wife does that every morning. However, I have I have started something called a happiness journal, and so. Because I because I saw Rod Deerdeck talking about quantifying his happiness, and I, I was watched like, that, and I was fucking. He's like, I can tell you how many bad days I had in the past five years. I'm like, wow, that was crazy. And it was me. like six or something like that. But what I started doing was going. I I know the things that make me unhappy, but I still do them. And I was like, I can like hot sauce. I know that a hot sauce makes me unhappy. I know it does, and I still do it. And I was like, I wonder if I could just really kind of highlight the things that make me happy. And then, because there are things that make you happy that after you do them, you're like, I, I'm always feeling good after I work out. So one morning I woke up and I did not want to get out of bed. And I went, hold on. I wrote down in my happiness journal that working out and hanging out with my daughters are two things I can identify that made me happy, but I still want to stay in bed. And I went, hold on. You know these are things you are identified that make you happy. So get out of bed and go get coffee for the girls. So I got both the girls their orders and Leanne in order and my order. And then I came home and I made breakfast for Georgia, and we hung out. And then I was like, oh, now I can go back to bed. And then Georgia's like, are you going to work out? And I was like, I know that it makes me happy. Mm-hmm. So I went and I worked out. And then all of a sudden, mm-hmm. I had the fucking greatest day. And I was like, ah. Oh. So that's what I've been doing is trying, because of Rob Deerdeck, sure. trying to identify the things that make me happy and focus on them. Mm-hmm. So like today, I said, um, I know alcohol makes me happy. But I also know that if I drink alcohol at Barstool, I will then be unhappy. Yeah, you'll so be I soggy gave, the rest I of the day. I gave... This podcast was my swing book. I know I'll probably drink with Big J. Mm-hmm. So I was like, I was like, if I can get to here and know that I and not be drunk, then I know I'll be happy. Sure. So I got here, and then you were like, "Do you want a beer?" And I went, "I do," because I know I'm happy. Great. How you guys got it that? all figured the fuck out. Just highlight the things that make you happy. Write them down. Just write them down on a fucking piece of paper, and then even the things like when you go like you know you know stretching in the morning makes you happy. Then just add it into your life, and then you can find more happiness. Mm-hmm. I guess it's pretty simple to do. Yeah, on paper, you know, it's easy to, yeah, but it's tough when you're faced with it. Like, to get at, to actually get out of bed, like you said. Most people are yeah. like, oh, fuck it, I'll just stay in bed. Man. Mr. Bert Kreischer, ladies and gentlemen. Thank How you. How about him? This has been a fucking wild ride. It's a fucking heater. This has been, this has been revealing. I like it. See, fuck. this is. We could my... do, honestly, 14 more episodes. I'm, I'm, an, I'm an analogy? No. An, an anomaly. An anomaly. Yeah. I'm an algorithm. I'm an algorithm. <laughs> <laughs> I'm more of a metaphor, to be honest with you. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. Ladies and gentlemen, the world-famous Greek theater in Los Angeles, California, May 5th. Yep. Sing you're at the Mayo. King's Theater while you're here. You're torn all over the place. Yep. You Bro- are the machine. I'm in Brooklyn. I'm, I never really went to Brooklyn when I lived here. I, I have been. In Bro- I go to Brooklyn like once every three months. Yeah. Yeah. I was thinking about going to Peter Luger's tonight. That's a Tim Dillon move, isn't it? Nothing wrong with it. Luger's is good. All right. Well, okay. Yeah, yeah. Luger's is great. Okay. Any more questions? Well, yes. Do we have them? Well, the, he just brought up Luger's. Yeah, All right, we so we're a, big steak, we're a big steakhouse f- company over here. Big okay. steakhouse fam. Say you go to Luger's, you, the security, 
whoever. What? How? What? Give me the give me the rundown real quick. It's Bert's dinner. It's Bert's dinner. Hey, you're going. It's going to be you, Jay, him. Oh, I, well. First of all, what I'll do is I'm going to order. I'm going to I'm going to say you're quarterbacking the situation. Oh yeah, I'm ordering for everybody. I, and we do yeah, that. I do that all down. the time. We call, it, we call it we call it where one person will order all the meals. I will order if say if, if it's all of us. I will order uh, one, two, three. I'll order four steaks. Uh, they'll all be medium rare and they'll all be sliced for us. Yeah. We'll get a fillet. We'll get a porterhouse. Fat, yeah. We'll get a ribeye. We'll get we'll 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 load it up, right? Some mm-hmm. dry aged. This guy could probably yeah. order like no oh, one else. Man. You'd give Tim Dillon a run for the and, money. And then we're gonna get what I don't know what Peter, Peter Luger's has on the menu, but I would love to get some pastas. I want to get a lot of like I love to go to steakhouses and get a side pasta of like uh, shrimp scampi, and because it just so it's such Timmy a Dave. different flavor. Mm-hmm. We're getting lobsters, yeah. we're, and we're and we're gonna each get our own lobster. Whoa. And and then we're gonna do a seafood tower to start. Nice. And we're getting lots of the like, we're doing all all the starches they have. We'll do all their starches, and we'll have a couple. Uh, I'm gonna say I want some I want some uh, roasted garlic with it, mm-hmm. and then we'll do a couple greens, but not many, and then definitely bread. Yeah. Nice. We're all, gonna start, we're all going to start with a martini, a dirty martini, and then we're going to go. Speaking move. of big man's language right now, we're gonna I'm a on. Manhattan man, but he likes a dirty we're, Marty. We're all going dirty martini to start while we while we pick our wine. Nice. And Stop. then we go a this bottle guy's of got wine. Me hype. And I then, think we're related. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> I might be a Chrysler. <laughs> and then, you might be a Foley, and which then, is <laughs> tough luck for you, buddy. <laughs> yeah, there's going to be a bunch of people coming out of the woodwork for that cash. <laughs> <laughs> and then when he gets done, he goes, do you guys want dessert? I said, uh, bring out your four favorite desserts. Nice. And I don't, even want to, I don't even want to know what they are. For the table, for the everybody table. Share. And then everybody just, like, yep. like just grabs. Man. All right. and, and I've already given my credit card. You don't well, know you the do bills. When do you do that? When do you do that? Right when I walk in. Right when I walk in. Right when I walk in. you're seated. Before I seated, I give him my credit card, and I said, I did that with Ralphie May one time. That was a mistake. You got pissed. Fucking no. I fucking, oh, tw- we ate sushi. It was <laughs> just me and him, and it was $1,200. It was fucking, he got, ate a dolphin. <laughs> yeah. God, that's, I want to go to a uh, steakhouse. My mouth's watering right now. Dude, we're a big steak. We're, we're, we do Gallagher's in Midtown, not too far from that's here. That's our spot. It's old school. Really? They, they like, do it real We nice. like what they do. It's you know everything. It's like real old school. It's all mahogany. They got behind. a lump crab cocktail that'll Ooh. blow your hair back. Really? They know not the ice cold chunks of just sweet, delicious crab meat. Fantastic. We went A little this, bit of remula, a little bit of cocktail. We went to this place called Red Ash in Austin. Red Ash. Mm-hmm, good. Might be the best meal I've ever had in my life. It was, it was, it was everyone from the tour: me, Dave Williamson, Steve Fury, my cousin Andrew, my cameraman John Mans, and Peter. And we got fucking wasted, and we ate like crazy. And then the next night, I went to uh, a sushi restaurant with Segura that I did I'd been to before, but I was so drunk I don't remember it. And I remember it's a fine night where they bring out two pieces at a time, two pieces, two mm-hmm. pieces, two pieces. Chef's and I, menu. And I was like, the last time I was there, I was like, uh, sushi boat, please. And they were like, <laughs> we don't do sushi yeah. boats. <laughs> I'll do the shrimp tempura. <laughs> <laughs> Extra ketchup. Oh, God, yeah. Wow. Um, I'm assuming that credit card's made out of some kind of metal. Uh, you know, so funny, I don't even have any credit cards on me anymore. Really? Yeah, he has them. What? Damn, that's the yeah. level you're rolling at, Birdie Boy. Are you yeah. kidding me? I don't have any. My, I don't. I don't even roll with credit I cards. I hear about that in Drake songs. No, I. I well, it's, I'm, you're the most successful person I've ever met in my life. I, no, I'm just irresponsible. <laughs> I'm irresponsible, and I lose them, or I, or I just, I fucking put them in a pocket. If I use them, I'll put them in a pocket, and then I'll find them like a month later. I did the same thing with money. I'll, I'll get a lot of money and then put it in a pocket and not realize I have it, and then go out. I, I yeah. Do you have a wallet on you? Do you have your I do ID? Have a wallet. Or does I do he have, have it? I have a wallet right now. But like I haven't I lost it for I lost it for a week. I found it right before we left last night. I'd put it in a box. Whoa, you're handling the cat that's fucking the coolest thing. I went to Vegas. I went to Vegas, not not to Flex, but I went to Vegas to buy a Rolex. Flex! And flex! I have, that's this year. Yeah. We want you to flex. When successful people come on the show, it's a big flex. I went to Vegas and I and I and I I wanted a Rolex. I, I have I have a Rolex, but I wanted to I wanted to buy one for this tour to kind of remember the tour, remember this watch. And I went to a bunch of Rolex places. No one has any stock. And we went to this one in Vegas. And I was like, and Segura texted me. He's like, man, you, you're busting your ass. You're one of the hardest working dudes I know. You, you, he's like, you fly to oh, Austin once a like month that. to fucking do two bears. 
You're touring nonstop. You have a movie coming out. You are burning the candle at both ends. Treat yourself. Get the fucking Rolex. Yeah. Hell yes. So I went to get the Rolex and I had to have him pay for it. <laughs> it was the he gets weirdest. He tapping himself. <laughs> it was the weirdest fucking thing. The lady's like, he's going to pay for it? And I was like, it's my, it's my card. But yeah, he's, like I pay the bill. But it's it. And so I bought a Rolex and he paid for it. <laughs> is the card in his name or is that your name it's, on it? It's in your name, right? It's a company card with his name. It's a company card name. with his name, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah so. Now I'm yeah. intrigued by you, what do you sir. Think? Yeah. Ooh, Holy shit. Bad. It's a nice watch. I really like it. Good All for right. you, man. Yeah, thank you. Damn. I really like it. I have another one. My dad gave me one when I was a kid. Well, my dad's given me two. And, and I love the one my dad gave me because he gave it to me for my 40th birthday. But there's something different about this one. It's not as nice as the other one. But it's, it's because I bought it on tour and I've been looking at watches and that I was like, I really enjoy this one. I haven't, I haven't taken it off yet. Kippy gave good. me this one. It's a citizen. That's a good looking one. I was yeah. looking at your watch. That was our birthday yeah. present yeah. or Christmas present. Those both stink. I'm a movement man, guys. That's garbage. <laughs> MVMT.com slash garbage. These watches stink. Oh, <laughs> my God. <laughs> uh, movement. Shout out to fucking movement. God there's, damn it. There's only one more thing I'd like to know if I could. If we have a, Do we have a second? Of course. It's real quick. You go to a wedding. Close friend, maybe a relative. Maybe a, a niece or a nephew. How a much kid. is he putting in the envelope? <laughs> <laughs> I got to run out to the car real quick. So I'm a big time razzle dazzle guy. Oh, He's a little bit of a show. We know it. Bird. That's I, why I is, big guy. I like Lay the, it on me. I like the shine. I like the sparkle of things. If you want to write it down like a rich guy and slide it across, he's the real table, big on can. writing numbers down and sliding them. So that's I, what rich people do. I have a hard, I have a hard time, like because I'm not. I'm, I'm this. I want to say this the right way so it doesn't. He sound says like, I give a blender. I'm going to shoot myself. No. So, uh, so I, I like big presents. Like we had a, a kid. Like I'll tell you this. This is going to sound crazy, and if you don't understand the backstory, you're not going to get it. I'm spending $100,000 on Tom's birthday this year. I, yes. Yeah. 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 Okay. So, like, fantastic. So, like, and also a tax write off. <laughs> so, yeah. So, also, smart business. So, you gotta uh, spend money to make money. You know what I mean? So, if you're talking about a, probably on the present or the party? On the present. I'm buying him a race car. They started one up in each other. Yeah. They, we started one up in each other. So, he bought me a $3,000 bike. And, he, and Tom is the one that introduced me to how great presents were. How great! We just did that this year because we just started making money, so we bought each other Christmas presents. And it's and it's really fun. I bought him that bass guitar. Did you ne- really? Two thousand dollars. Did you really? Yeah. It was six hundred. He's lying to you. Seven hundred. <laughs> <laughs> and I got him a Nintendo Switch, the good one. They Dude. both hate them. Uh, so Tom bought me. You don't a- play the bass, do you? By any chance? <laughs> yeah, I do. Yeah, yeah. Tom, Tom play. Tom bought me an electric bike for three thousand dollars, and I was blown away by how much I loved it and how I didn't expect it and how he kind of knew what I wanted. And so then... Not a bass guitar. I <laughs> See said, what I'm saying? I said, I'll buy you a better grif- gift next year and I'll spend more money. Let's do that. Let's promise to spend more money on each other as we go. And my gift last year was $70,000 and now this year I had to spend $100,000 on it. Jesus. And so then next Does year... Does he know that you're giving him this? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I had to get his sizes for his uh, flame retardant suit. Like I, I, like an actual race car. I bought him a race car. We're starting a like two a stock bears car. We're buying. We're starting two bears racing, and it's it, Tom's our driver. Rogan will drive it. Why times. don't you come to me with these ideas? And, uh, See what these wait, guys are, are you you getting in a NASCAR? No, we're doing uh, endurance racing in the, in like the I think it's the M six series, uh, like BMWs. Le Mans, that kind of shit. Yeah, like the long ones. And so we'll go in. It's Holy like a twenty four hour race. Shit! It's I bought him a fifty six thousand dollar race car. It's beautiful. It's an. It's, we're getting it wrapped right now. It's uh, had I'm some, over here talking about crab meat at some yeah. steak. Yeah, and then I and then you I just, bought him I bought him a Nintendo trailer. Switch on this I guy. bought him a trailer for the car. I bought three race outfits. I got a a smoker that's attached to our trailer, and I got him four new tires just in case. And so you were starting two bears racing, and the best part is we're selling ad sale space on the car, and uh, and I, I'm dude. It's like I love having dumb ideas. So when you talk about like there was a kid who's turned uh, who turned. Uh, 13 and i and i bought him a jet ski yeah and my wife's like what the fuck are you doing and i go because his dad's got to fucking keep it in his garage yeah and so and so i have no problem if i'm going to a wedding being the guy like i've been getting drunk getting on gofundmes lately and just I've done that dropping money on people's gofundmes just being and then because then you get the email and you get to keep up with them and like there was this kid that was in an accident from philly 
Mm-hmm. I, kept, I, I donated a bunch of money to his GoFundMe, and then I shared it. People hate when you share a GoFundMe. They're like, you're rich. Why don't you just pay for everything? And I was like, go fuck yourself. Yeah. I gave $10,000, okay? Whoa! And so I gave $10,000 to one guy, a guy I know who had cancer. I gave him $10,000. And so I'll get drunk and go on GoFundMe, and especially at like 100 bucks, 500 bucks a pop. I'll take a look and see where the top donation is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and I always put my name. I always put my name. Yes. What the fuck? Are Thank you out you. of me? You're anonymous of- can suck my ball sack. Who the fuck donates anonymous money to GoFundMe? Yeah. Well, you know what, what I do? What the fuck? I also put Burt Kreischer, but I put five <laughs> bucks. <laughs> do you know what I do? Do you know what I do? When I go to Gelson's and they have, hey, do you want to donate a dollar? I go, yeah, sure. I'll donate one dollar and then I'll write Brad Pitt. <laughs> and people will go, Brad Pitt, <laughs> can you believe $1? that cheapskate? I made 20 million last year. Yeah, that's awesome. a dollar. Yeah, so if I'm going to a wedding, and you're talking about uh, a, a, a easy, nephew, a buddy's friend, I will give a buddy's kid. I'll probably give, I'll probably give fifteen grand and try to cover their their honeymoon, like some of their honeymoon. What? I'm sorry, these headphones are fucked up. Sound like you said fifteen grand. Probably fifteen grand. If like you're talking about like a family member, yeah, like yeah, f- yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh. I mean, I would spend more. Is that what you're asking? Fifteen no. we're grand. Oh, if if if, if you're I think the about, next highest answer we've asked was a thousand. Was like fifteen. Oh, oh no 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 no. I would definitely. I'm way over. I roll into Chinese New Year's with two thousand twenty two dollars of fresh ones and give it away. Like give it away. I mean, I threw. What's Chinese New Year's? Chinese he said New that Year's. like I celebrate it. Oh, Chinese New Year's is the fucking greatest holiday of the fucking year. We just celebrate it. That's where I met Oliver Stone at Chinese New Year's. We get. We get a dragon to come to the house and then scare all the bad demons out of the house. And then we, and then it's good luck to gamble. So, what I'll do is I'll get 2022, the whatever year it whatever is, year fresh it is. ones. It's got to be crisp ones. And then I, I just give it to kids and I'll make the kids gamble for it. I did noses on the table. So, the kids kept their noses on the table and I had 400 bucks in the center. And I was like, whoever keeps their nose on the table gets it. And these it's kids like a radio were there for station. like an hour and a half. And then I, and then I take, I'll take a hundred dollars, throw it in the pool, in like a bag with a rock in it, and the kids will dive in, and I give away two thousand dollars, and it's fun as fucking shit. This guy parties, dude. dude if you're, you're talking, and, awesome, so if man. you're talking about like, if you're talking about like a family member's wedding, I would, I was, I was given, I had, I was broke when I got married, and and we went to a really nice honeymoon, and we couldn't afford it, and someone covered the bill, and that, that Not the world that changed, it changed, it it it. It was told to me. It was. It put my wedding on a better, uh, my marriage on a better footing. Yeah. That you weren't going out. You weren't starting your wedding in the hole. In the hole. In you, the were, you were having Fighting. the greatest time you could have. And wow. I got it. I want you to have that as a gift for your marriage. And without a fucking doubt, if it's a family member, I'd be like, I'll take care of it. I'd be like, What's, tell me what your nut is for your uh, honeymoon. And then I find it out, and I just cover it. And that that's and I'm in the place where I can do that right now, sure, and it's, it doesn't ruin me. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. that that's what I do. I mean, if I was younger, I probably couldn't have done that, but now Damn. I can. Mister Fucking Kreischer. Dude, you're fucking something else, bro. No, that's why I said hit us up. If I broke your computer, I'll buy you a new one. Yeah, in a it's heartbeat. a little wonky. I just want to say. <laughs> <laughs> also, I'm getting married next week. <laughs> <laughs> and the computer's forty five grand, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Mister Burke Kreischer. Yeah. God damn it. Gang, we fucking love you. Bert, anything you want to tell the folks? Uh, thank you for having me on. I thank enjoy you, I enjoy this podcast. Thank and, and, you, I, and it was a stretch. I was I was nervous that you guys, like I said, you were going to go, <laughs> we don't have time for you. Dude, it sounds so corny, <laughs> but whatever. I'm sharing it. We made this show with guys like you in mind. Yeah. And the fact that in two years, we started the show as fucking literal nobodies. And to have you sitting at this table means, means the world means to the us. fucking oh, world to us. That, that it means, means so much to us. That means, uh, to be honest with you, that means the world that guys like you even know who I am. That, like, <laughs> You're crazy, dude. Talking yeah. about? I feel like I feel like I feel like I'm not even in the game anymore. Like I'm just like I just. You're like, one of the most successful <laughs> comedians. <laughs> yeah, dude, we were working just, today. What I, are you talking? about? I swear to God, me, T Bone, and Foley had this conversation outside. Maybe, maybe four days ago, smoking a cig. We're like, all right, who else can we, you know? Let's look up what like who can we get. And we we're like, Bert would obviously be a great. And I go, hopefully in a year we'll get him. Oh, and then no. two days later, you texted me, and my head almost exploded. Well, let me tell you, Tom Segura's got a big tour to promote. Tommy! And when he comes to New York, and I heard he out. gives twenty grand at fucking weddings. <laughs> Tom, What's he gonna break when he's in here? When Tom yeah. Segura, when Tom Segura, Tom Segura, he's is a gift. A, yeah, he is a gift guy. Yeah. He is a. You know what he started doing? He started bringing dudes he grew up with on the road. He'd be like, let me fly you out. I'll fly you out first class. I'll put you up in a hotel. 
I'll bring you out to the show. We'll take you to dinner. We'll do something fun that next day, and then I'll fly you home. Yeah, it's like a vacation for you. Yeah, he's like, and people will be like, why are you doing this? And he's like, because I like the look on your face when you enjoy it. Damn. Tom is a gift motherfucker. Man, you guys are fucking next level cool, bro. Next level cool. Well, thank you. Gang, we love you. We'll see you next week. Bye, tickets to a live show. Peace.